Good night, everybody. It tastes good. You enjoy it? Yeah. Nice river food, Gil. Nice river food, yeah. So, good night, good night, everybody. Let's pop it in to say a quick good night. I had an awesome day. We just came from a really, really good river line. You want to take a sleep? All right. Have a good night. All right, so we have one person in the house. Judy T. Judy T, we had a ball today. We just came from the river, guys. Shabana, Penny, <laughs> Michael Sambrano. Now, guys, I have to talk a little soft. We have some guests inside. Mira, Diamond Rays, Stefan Singh. Amy Tech, Azisha, Marina, um, Javon, Darian, Susie. Look at people. <laughs> yes, I will tell it. They just had some really, really good food. Hercules and Goliath. Good night. Deal Tech, what's up, brother? Cody, Laura, Chrissy. All right. Imtaz Khan, Natasha, we have a ball. Right, so one sec, guys. I just came back from Cora River, it was awesome. We had a ball. You hear my voice? <laughs> well, Cody, I, I always say, don't take me for granted. You never know when I will come on. All right, so Elsie, good night, good night, guys. After talk, so everybody's asleep. I take it all a chance. All right. And Maria, good night to you. How are you I still doing up, Natasha? <laughs> I see the energizer body girl. All right. So Michael, Cody, Stefan Singh, Deal Tech, Maureen Khan, good night. Mira, this is a good time to go live Sunday night. All right. Guys, I can't stay too long. We have some guests. And I just want to pop on just to let everybody know we have a ball. Guys, look out for our video. It's going to be about two hours long. Tomorrow, I'll be dropping our video. And of course, I'm not going to be able to generate any money on the video because there was lots of music today and I just want to bring the video for what it is. It's Cora Music Blasting. Enjoy. All right. Oh, okay, Susie, no problem. All right, so, guys, today, Natasha, Panta, Anu, Kavita, Kavita's son, Adrian, Mohan, and myself, we were there. We met tons of people. Tons of people. One sec. Yes, ma'am? Eh? Who, Deal Tech? He going good? Deal Tech. Father, you want to know how you're going? <laughs> <laughs> Who cut the cheese this morning? Pata or Anup? <laughs> Today, I don't know. I came home, but Anup and Vita, they were there. Yes. Diane, we just come back. All right, so guys, we have 75 people in the house. I hope I have my voice in the morning because... You know, at six, if God spare life, we own. All right, right now, just talking soft. Tony and Shanta are asleep. I don't want to wake up the whole house. All right, Rafik Ali, blessings, blessings. Gail, good night. Right, Shabana, nice. Sydney, love. It was awesome to see her. Nice. DJ Sheldon. Hanafa, good night, good night, blessings. Mira, say good evening to everyone. Yes, I am still in that cold penny. Everybody's asleep except Valerie. Sharon M, good night, blessings. I know all the accustomed hear me talking loud, loud, loud. <laughs> 
first time I'm seeing you here, Lucia, Ramnalan, good night, good night. How are you doing? Dolly Mollet, Rachel, good night. Blessings. Dolly, I'll give you a call tomorrow. All right? Stefan Singh, DJ Sheldon, good night again. It was nice to see you. Dale Tech saying good night to uh, Cisha. Tell William, good night for me. Natasha sending um, Judy blessings. Chrissy, what's up? Are you guys hearing me? We live on the live. <laughs> Boss thing. Yes, and Judy, today, I did like about two, about two hours of footage just showing the whole scenery, the whole, you're, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it. Put me there, the silver, good night to you. Out in the casino and looking, I want to have a great night. All right, I hope you win a jackpot. <laughs> oh, gosh. Cody big up DJ Sheldon. Are you guys hearing me? Yes, they will take I'll tell her. <laughs> All right. Yes, Natasha. <laughs> so this is in height of Natasha and Pat and the doggies. All right, so guys, I did stop in tonight. I was able to see Sydney, Sidi, and Suri. Right? Um, Anup and Kavita were able to interact with Ellis. So I'm glad for that. And the metal in them also. Cindy Love, it was a pleasure meeting you. A hey, big up the flower. Queen, Ellie. Yes. What is the big girl's name again? Katie. Guys, tomorrow is Katie's birthday. So remind me to shout out tomorrow, please, God. Yes, from New Jersey. I mean, I mistake him, Daz. Sorry about that. From New Jersey. And I'm sweating. The place is hot. I have the windows open, but the place is hot, hot, hot. Maybe I could open this door. Right. Nisha, good night, good night. <laughs> no Trinity. <laughs> Nadia, RJ, good night to you. Welcome to the chat. Guys, I'm whispering. Everyone is asleep. But I really, really want to go live. I want to see how well we're going to do. You think we can reach up to 200 people? Amy Tech, good night. Good night, Brandon. The whole house. Hannah for saying good night to all the beautiful ladies and gents. Anu Kavita, are you all locked on? Let me know. Natasha John saying good night to Susie. Alu Choka, what's up? What's up? I can't do the turkey. Anjanine Khan. What's up? All right. This is the softest you will ever hear me. Oh, Lush is your sister. All right. Nice, Anoop. Lush, special good night. Tell mom and dad. Big up. And Mohan son. Alana Joseph, good night. Blessings. Sharon M, good night. Cody, I can't do the turkey. Maritza, how is Miss Erica? Your dad, your brother, good night to y'all. I'm sweating. Whoa. All right, 
So guys, I just came home from a really, really good river line. Azisha, William, that food was... I just gave daddy and mommy some. All right. So, I know, Kabita, please, let's know when you reach home safe. Amy Texan and Susie Love. Javid, what you say, brother? Good news, brother. Tell me. Oi, what I tell you? All right, good, good, good. Yes, God is good. God is great. Gail saying goodnight to Dolly, Marina, and Amy. Judy T, you read my comment in today's core video. You will like it. Okay, so Judy, I just came home. I had a bath. All right, and I went straight on the live. I ain't get to check um, the vids yet, but I'm anxious. I want to see how well they did. I will be checking it out for sure. All right? Thank you. And guys, I love reading comments, so please leave comments on the videos. All right? And could we get some people to exit the chat? Hit the like button and come back in. I promise I'll stay on a bit. As you shall say, ah, noob. Sally, good night, good night. From Palo Seco. All right, so blessings and big up all itself, all the whole, whole self. Tell people like Cutie, the Chattagoons, right? Um, the people like Ramdas. Big up all itself, big up to all the people in Palo Seco. Big up to all the people in Rancho Kimado, Arena Village. Uh, Lucy Ro, Erin, Puno Series, pick up all itself. Savvy, good night, good night. Sharon, I'm saying good night to Hannaford, Dolly, Azisha, Dale, Natasha, and Cody sending love. Marina saying good night to Mira. Yes, I saw the girls, Dolly. I did. I did. Thank the Lord. Yes. Azisha saying good night to Sharon M. Deal Tech saying goodnight to Sharon. And hope saying goodnight to everyone. Drink. No, believe in that. Okay, so guys, I could speak normal, right? But I'm whispering right now. Everyone is asleep in the house. All right? So believe in that. That voice is there for you. All right? So I'm going back to whispering now. All right? I don't think he's home as yet, Azisha. Yes, blessings, Maritza. So, let me give you all the normal voice. All right, I want to say a pleasant good night to everyone. Thank you all for joining. I had an awesome day today. All right, I'm doing this live just to let everyone know that everything is good and Anup is on his way home. And he is going to reach home safely. All right? But, guys, I have to whisper. All right? Yes. So it's a bit different. Lucia, good night, Anoop. A.K.A. Shahrukh Khan. <laughs> All right, Michael Sambrano. Right, Sean, I'm saying good night to Marina, Anoop, and Kavita, and Mira. Yes, I read it, Anoop. Lucia is your sister. Nice. So special good night to Lucia. Mira saying good evening to Amy Tech. Yes, Amy was the only moderator. She did a wonderful job. Thank you, Amy. Susie said yes, 200. Let's go. Are you all hearing me? FPL Fire, Big of the Kavita and Natasha Panther and the Tech Family, sending love full hundred. DJ Sheldon, Natasha and Panther. Real vibes, indeed, DJ. It was nice to meet you all. We met Trouble tonight, right? Trouble, Philly, Katie, Flower Queen, Ellie, Randall, the Chow Man, DJ Sheldon, Sydney Love some other people in the clip 
Big up all the self, all the whole whole self. Linda was there. Kimberly, Healy, Anna. Mm -hmm. From defense, we spoke to Ellis. We spoke to Sydney, Sadie, and Suri. I wonder if I still have it in my pocket. Hold on. Oh, gosh. Guys, it mash up. See, they gave me a little flower and it mash up. All right? Deal deck. Anu, Panta, Sana, Tasha, Kavita. Guys, sorry, I missed the day. I was too tired and got home late. No problem, my brother. And Susie, I want to thank you. Hey, guys, my favorite number, 111 people in the house. Good night, everybody. Susie, thank you once again for that really thoughtful gift. Thank you. Yes, no respect to Susie. Susie and Allison, I thought we would have seen you all today. Right, Michael, sending some love to Dolly. Marilyn, yes, I'm saving it. I'm saving it. I could speak normal, but I'll wake up everyone in the house. All right? Yes. So, carrying the download, that's why I sound like a frog. Natasha saying, it was a pleasure meeting you all. DJ Sheldon, Cindy Love, trouble out and about. Kevin Mangrew, it was good to talk to you on the phone. Yes. Good night, Sharon M. Sending lots of love to you too. Marina saying good night to Hanifa. Azisha Deal, I felt sad I could not go to, but another time. Yes. So Azisha and William, we're going to link soon. All right? Yes, Cody, see me here. I'm happy to be live. Mira, good evening to FPL Fire, Marilyn and Kevin. Take off the hat. Let me take it off, man. <laughs> Arsital, good night, good night. I say here. Yes, I did see them. All right. I did see them. I thank God for that. Blessings. Michael sending blessings to Cody. I really feel like I, you know, you're talking to your girlfriend a long time. Yeah, baby, I love you, you know. Yes. I can't talk loud. Mommy and daddy can hear me. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't be on the chat, yes. So, guys, I really can't talk loud, all right? Teenage, what are you saying, brother? Good night, Avidia. Your two sons. Your daughter-in-law. Your grandson. Big up. Deal texting. Blessings to FPL. Hanifa, Mr. Sana, do get tired. Sana, do get tired. I lie, man. I the energizer lie, man. <laughs> Marilyn saying hello to Mira. Sending love, blessings. All right, so big up to all the moderators, all the commenters, silent viewers, sending lots of love to y'all. Blessings. Nadia, blessings. Good night. Nadia, this people feel nice. Sana, good night, love. Blessings. Good night, Nadia. Trini Dinesh and Vids, good night. Coming from Dolly. Till the man busting. It going down the road and I text it. <laughs> Take your time, Anoop. Reach home safer. You hear what I'm telling you? You have precious cargo. Don't let nothing happen to my coffee tell you. Know? <laughs> DJ Sheldon saying goodnight to Dinesh and Vids. Deal Tech saying goodnight to Michael. FPL Fire. Tech Tech blessings to you and the family sending love. And Chavit. I send lots of love to you and your family also, brother. It's a good one. 
Gielseenheid aan Anoop en aan Kevin. Guys, it's hot in here. Yes, reach home safe from DealTech. Now they're saying goodnight to everyone. Blessings. Sharon. Guys, up in Cora was a mess today. So, I would not be able to monetize that video. There was lots of music, lots of music. And I just wanted to bring it to y'all just to see how much fun people was having. DJs, boxes, boom, boom, boom. When I tell you, I was getting deaf, all right? But I was able to mix the video. You're going to see some cooking, some nature, right? Music, people partying. Listen, we met many, many new people, and they're going to be subscribing to the channel. We've met a guy who came from overseas. Yes. So we keep telling people about the channel. We met people who know about the Sana Trini for Life. Yes? So, guys, great things are happening, right? Yes, let's match the likes, people. Exit the chat. Let's get it to 100 before 30 minutes. Let's get it to the 100. And I promise all you, I'll go stay on for two hours. Sana, I call your mom's number twice, but no answer. So, RC tell, I know who you are. I know who you are. Um, can you call my number after the live? I'll store it or send me a WhatsApp message saying it's RC tell, and we'll take it from there. Right? Sabina, Sukram, good night. Always a follower of all your vlogs. Thank you, Sabina. I really, really, really appreciate it. All right, sending lots of love to you and the whole Sukram family. Yes, Judy, I read all the comments. Amy Tech, Judy T, no worries. It was a quiet morning. Amy, you did a really good job. Thanks. This is sweat, Maureen. <laughs> Jennifer, good night. So, guys, let me see how much um, charge I have in the phone. It's less than 15%. This phone has been working hard for you all. This phone has been working hard for all of you. For all the video for tomorrow. Whole day, this phone working. That battery pack from Azisha. It work holy, right? Judy says, saying hi to Mr. Handsome Javid. He's a good looking guy. Well, I want to go to midnight, him task can? Let me know. Yes, I'm sweating profusely, Mori. Karen, good night, watching from New York. Pick up, pick up. For real, Mira, this year is flying fast. Kabita Anu, when you reach home, let's know. Yo, Kevin, I must say thanks for that coffee yesterday morning. So DJ Sheldon, like he went across by Kevin, had a cup of coffee. Big up, Kevin. Kindness is blessings. Thank you, Karen. Karen Lagan, thank you so much love support all right so guys remember mr knockapot's eldest daughter katie is celebrating her 17th birthday tomorrow pick up katie sending lots of love Susie said hi to DJ Sheldon and Cindy Love. Elsie, Mr. Sana. 
you also have a wonderful week guys today is sunday we're going to seal through this week if god spare life inshallah and with positivity we could going to get guys just now it's christmas you know yes loud and whispering yes i am way behind this chat let's fast forward whoa guys slow up please slow up whoa <laughs> i can't keep up with the chat oh my goodness i am really back to panifa all right so i am super duper hungry food <laughs> really dolly brandon is on the chat ashan good night good night back up yes i know arcital yes i know exactly who you are Natasha, don't call him. Prima, good night, good night. Good night, Sarah and Dad in the house. Good night to you. How you doing, sir? Nice to have you in the chat. Good night, good night, good night. Annette, good night to you from Montreal. Working tomorrow, six o'clock. All right, so I hear Brandon is in the chat. Good night, Brandon. Good night, Natalia. The chat has run away from me. Oh boy, Jennifer. Good night. All right, so Brandon is somewhere here, and I can't find it. So sorry, son. Good night to you. Good night to Natalia. <coughs> 9.27. All right. Thanks, Dolly. Brandon. Hey, Dad. Sorry we couldn't make the river today, but enjoyed the vlog a lot. Brandon, big up. Natalia, good night, good night. All right, thanks for that, Dolly. Speed the mark forward here. Yes. Mark Lewis, what's up, brother? Mark Lewis, we are a ball. All right, so guys, let me get my food. I'm real hungry, but we stay in locked on. Everybody can talk. Thank you so much. A hey, jacuzzi, lamb's bread, warahood. <laughs> Sandra, good night. Look, Brandon, I get where? But this boy, but this boy ain't easy, you know? Brandon tuned in. All right, good, nice. <laughs> hey, Papsy, Brandos. Thank you, son. You make my heart real happy. Guys, hold on, all right?
<coughs> yes, I heat it up. Mm. Whoa. You know who cooked this food? Shanta. Yes, Cody. We go in live in the morning. Between 6 and 6.15. Guys, this kalu was made by Tony and Shanta. Delicious. Vlogs, Ram Ram to you, blessings to India, big up. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, Sharon. <laughs> this food is delicious, Sharon. And Shanta could cook, boy. They could cook. They could cook, 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 cook. Check a check. Big up to the handsome bandan. Hey, Debra, thank you. Mm. Guys, let me ask all this something. Would y'all be in support? Cassie, I'm good. Would y'all be in support of Brandon coming to join me on the live to play his guitar? Tell me. Would y'all would y'all support him? Anything you want him to play, he'll be able to play. He's good. Mark Lewis, it's good. I'm just speaking softly because everybody's sleeping. So this is my whispering voice. Yes. Food is in a real best. Hey Mark Lewis, or a real cook of a storm boy. Yes, of course. Brandon, come on. I tell you to come and play the guitar. Let people call in their requests. Right? I don't know what happened to Brandon. Boy, people will just be calling in. Come and play. That's my ASMR voice. Yes, yes, yes. For real. Everybody's asleep. Must talk softly. I don't want to make up the whole house. All right. Yes, that would be awesome.
Yes, we're gonna make some parang soka. Yes. I stayed. Sorry, so where you think this album come from? This new event. So 
fuck some crap. Yes, deal. Nice. Maciel, I can't talk too long, all right? Good for you. Hush, little babies. Go and sleep now. Panda, good night to you. Yes, who is the crazy ones, Michael? The people who watch it. <laughs>
Joker. Peter's don't want nothing with me. I can suck her out good. Say the wrong things. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, Cody. Jacuzzi, we man tonight. <laughs> of course, in the morning, Ryan. Comments up to a hundred. This is all I have left. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, buy some sucker bags. I'll suck some sucker bags for you. <laughs> look at look at messages being held for reviews. <laughs> Crab. 
It's only pay tracks, yes. Guys, the bowl is done. I feel a little hungry. Or oh, they want to see me eat some more crap. Let me know. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, watch me. Only oh, real light, you know. I love all the two I will do anything for you, but not every and anything. Right? As you share your show, on the show, <coughs> but when I tell you, I really enjoy eating that. Mm -hmm. More crab, please, Judy. So right now, I'm just looking for whatever little bit of kalu it have left. Who else wants to eat that pizza crab again? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, Chrissy, real kicks. Mm-hmm. Why wanna tell you that crap sweet Can't say that an oop. Read Panda comment. What do tell me the panda come even those stupid this little <laughs> Man. Like you're getting flashbacks. <laughs> hey then fellas give me talks. You know, Panta and Anu gave me talks whole day, you know. Them fellas are them. Anu son, Adrian say, hey, Mr. Sarah, how are you taking them and giving you so much of talks, boy? Man, that's taking it. What thing of us sucks? Mm. <laughs> oh, God, hey. Now, guys, honest to God, let me end the life. Because I really go eat that next piece of crab. I don't want to fed up, see me. Eat the crab. All right, Elizabeth, good night. Hope you had a great Sabbath. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, they had their belly full already. Yes. All right, so as you just say, eat, eat, eat. So I'm allergic to crab, but now I want to risk it. All right. So here up then. Here what going on. <coughs> Yes, end the life. All right, so Ryan says, people, that he would like me to end the life. So, guys, yet, yeah. right? All right, so let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see what I'm saying. All right, Ryan wants me to end the life. Dolly saying to see, go and take a response. I go and eat a piece of crab whether I, whether I remain alive or not. I go and eat a piece of crab again. Yeah. Don't listen to go and sleep. Mm -hmm. I go and get a piece of crab. Right? I go and get a piece of crab. I love that crab, boy. <laughs> I go and get a piece of crab. Yeah. Crap, all right, so we had a really good day. I'm gonna call Lulu. <laughs> do all the sleeping, do do that, do do that. Yeah, man. We get one plenty legs, so it can be plenty sucking, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat the whole bowl of crap. Yeah. I think you know the whole bowl. I eat it all this car. Yeah. I come home and I hungry. I get them the food I bring from the river. I go eat all that crap. Mm hmm I crab it. I crab it a nice boy. When I tell you that crap sweet like Judy <laughs> Oh gosh. Play with my tomorrow. Judy really, you know, I really had a being a soundproof. Bossala, oh gosh. What you doing up? Jackie John, we sucking crab. Yes, 
I suck and grab and I suck and it all night. I look joker, you're really, really right. Hey, do it all, don't please. <laughs> that only crab, only crab. Jackie John, we went to the river. We had a really, really, really good time. Panta, Natasha, Anu, um, Kavita, right? Um, Mohan was there, Adrian, Anu's and Kavita's son. We had a real blast. We met lots of subscribers. Jackie John, stay tuned. We're going to suck some crab, girl. When I tell you, um, finger licking good thing. Deal tech. You want to come and suck some crab? <laughs> yes, Mira. We having fun. We having some fun. But remember, we can't talk too loud, right? Everybody's sleeping. So if I kind of, what they call it? ASMR. Somebody put, put up what that means. Right? Guys, if you go on TikTok, you will see people doing all kind of nonsense. And we just having some fun here tonight. Alright? So please do judgment based on this. We're gonna have some fun. Right? So let me get our crab and let me do some sucking. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, Dolly. All right. All right, thanks a lot, thanks a lot. All right, so guys, we go and eat the crab. What we'll be doing is we'll be suctioning the crab. All right? So, Judy T and everybody else, remember, don't use the word, right? We, we go in and suction out the meat. All right? <laughs> no more. You see, you're going and you put it, Brian. Ryan. Alright, so we're going and suction all the meat from this this sweet, sweet crab. Alright? Alright, Sharon Gill. Have a good night in the morning. Mm hmm We is a good thing, you know. I think this is a piece of crab, you know, there's a whole hot pepper here, you know. Alright, so guys, remember, alright? We can't use that word. S U C K I N G. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to slip up this callaloo. Guys, look at this now. Look at this. I mean, this is callaloo, bread. This is callaloo. This is top of the line thing. If you're not interested in that, Imagine how you're feeling, boy. Look at that now. I look like no crap that I was walking through no mangrove, you know. This is mm, this goodness, boy. So I'm not doing no talking. I just go and eat and make all the laugh. Alright? Yes. I just go and eat and make all the laugh, right? Eat it, yes. Eat it. Share it with me, Jackie John. <laughs> Jackie, open your mouth, baby. Jack, day for Jackie, yeah. Hmm. When I tell you, it's. Hmm. All right, Deborah, no problem. Yes. So good. Mm. Mira, you want some? Uh, 
Azisha, William. Well, it will take a little bit. But my serious thing, best thing. Mm -hmm. Wash off the palette a little bit. Mm -hmm. Flip camera. Sorry about that mirror. Give me it back. Mm -hmm. Laura, delicious. Mm. Slip it and enjoy it. Finger looking good. Battery power is low. <laughs> we need to run back. Oh my gosh. Boy, how are we doing this? Battery power low. Oh no. Tricks are doing here. Sorry, Michael. Isn't good on all this stupidness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, no, no plastic spoon here, Ryan. Plastic spoon, you telling me about? I want to hear the cling, cling, cling. I want to hear the cling, cling, cling. What plastic spoon you telling me about, boy? Too much noise. We'll then go to our next station or lower air volume. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's something making too much noise. Mute your TV. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lance and them, them sleeping song. Mm -hmm. Yes, the One Piece mothers, no problem. Ryan, get out of here now. You're on stupidness, boy. You see me eating and ask me if I drink and rum? All I roll out of time, you know? Mm hmm. Making all yourself into fools on everybody chat. Go on now, boy. Mm-hmm. Man eating good thing here. Tell me about plastic spoon and ask me if I drink in rum. You seen any rum in this house? Oh, they really know how to spoil a good thing, you know. Let me suck my crab now, man. Mm-hmm. 
Big people party, get out of here. Mm hmm. Man, suck in the crab here. You talk about rum. Me, I'm wrong with you, girl. That fellas is little boys, you know. <laughs> you see, the next one don't come back in. They're going on everybody chat and looking like idiots. <laughs> yes, put them in their place. It's our time. They're too stupid with themselves. <laughs> I warned them plenty times, you know, but they're so dotish. <laughs> now it's a different time. Hmm? Mm hmm. Sana, you know who has returned? Mm hmm. Everybody find he's sickening. He was gone for a long time. I thought he'd come back with a changed heart. But oh gosh, like some people can't change, boy. <laughs> Everybody knows who's these stupidies in here, you know. <laughs> everybody here is being everybody chat, and everybody is be seeing who is the idiots. Mm -hmm. Yes, I enjoy my crab. Man, telling me about drinking rum. You used to be drinking any rum. I drink it flipping orange juice. Yeah. Rum tea is good, boy. Anyway, Ryan, if you have any pineapples to give away, pop your number and tell people to come and pick up some pineapples. Right? How is your wife doing? Is she good? Hmm? How is your wife doing? Is she good? Your brother that got into the accident. How he going? He good? Yeah? He was able to fix back his cars yet, Ryan? Tell me now. We was real concerned. We thought he was dead, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes. Let me take a suck for Ryan. And maybe suck for Hidden too. Mm-hmm. All right. Only want me to leave them alone? Mm-hmm. Why? Only think I'll get out of time, eh? So they don't have any feet in me that all this time, right? All this time for all these months, I run on this channel and I never disrespect nobody. What all I think I'm going to make myself in a confounded fool for these idiots? No, it's just about time. Okay, Michael? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. When I finish eat this panta, I'll go and sleep. Don't worry, Michael. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> no, just have a time. Sometimes you really had to put people in their place. He not getting to me. But he recently returned to the chat. And I say, you know something, maybe he changed. But he come back the same way. And it's about time to tell him to get out of here. Mm -hmm. No, nobody is stealing my joy. Eating good. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you all very, very much. You're too real, brother. <laughs> I am calm. I am very calm, Hanifa. Thank you. Mm hmm. Yes, he was told. Judy T. Yes. But Aluchuka, the thing about it is that we will not 
be seeing them again. We would not be seeing them again. Because when you finally bring people out, right? When you finally bring people out and everybody make them out, they disappear for good. Jackie John, it's delicious. Susie, yes, I know I'm killing you. I'm killing plenty of people right now. Mm -hmm. You see, I'll tell you something. Oh gosh, Michael, I'm sorry that you really, you boss up. You too. No, but seriously, yeah? No. Shan Shafina Morris. Let me tell you something. And guys, I want all of you to listen to me carefully. A real sweating. All right. Many, many of these guys, right? Let me tell you what they're doing. They're going all over the place and they're harassing chat rooms, right? They're harassing chat rooms and the guys that running, the, the content creators, they don't know how to deal with these fellas, all right? But I just see long rope, long rope for Maka Goat and I just wait until they tie up their foot and you see tonight, Ryan tie up his foot. And it's time to draw on our rope, right? And let him know, no, we're not blocking them. We're not blocking them, right? Moderators, do not block Ryan, right? Do not block Ryan, right? The time has come where we have them tie up and we pull the rope and we draw them out and we show everybody how foolish these guys and them getting on, right? And Ryan, do come back in here and make yourself into an idiot, this is Mr. Sana, not Sana. This is Mr. Sana telling you, check yourself before you wreck yourself, right? If you want, go in them other people chat rooms, all them other local vloggers, make yourself into a fool. You have a hundred pound a pint, right? You have a hundred pound a pint to donate, right? To make chow, and you have a thousand and three, four thousand pound a pumpkin to give away because all rotten in, but you never put up your phone number in here. Right? You're partying, you're all in Tobago, enjoying yourself, and your wife dying in the hospital. Right? Use any kind of man, please exit and don't come back. Let me suck a piece of crab for you. Mm hmm And everybody, everybody in the chat here know you for you for who you is. You're promising people car battery, all kind of thing. Eh? Boy, you that smart man, boy. You that smart man. And everybody make you out. And you making yourself into what? A confounded fool. Get out of here, boy. <laughs> what are you feeling? What are you going to do? No, Michael, let me talk now, man. <laughs> nah, it's about time. Them fellas and them can be going about and disrespecting all over the place. So, Michael, if anybody afraid to tell them, me afraid to tell them, you know. <clears throat> me afraid to tell them, Michael, I'm not cursing. All right, Patricia, take care. I'm not cursing or anything. But the man mm. has left her footprint. Mm. Let me answer this call. Mm. Michael say that he boss up he too. I relax. I relax, Hanifa. I am relaxed. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that virus from Ryan. 
Goodbye, Ryan. <laughs> if it latching Richie six, hey, Richie, I see my global source now trying to call me. Right? If it's important, I'll take the call. Yes, everybody eat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Michael, you really busted too? Oh, you're trying to distract me. Yes, Neil Tech, everything fixed now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, the food look real good with G6. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. On the 11th. Today is the. Yes, Benita. My son is celebrating his 24th birthday on the 11th. No problem, Jackie John. Right? No problem. Vanita, it is sweet. Yes, Hannibal, best life ever. Put them in their place and let them be gone. feel to realize is that this is a really really positive chat group it's people inside of here right that looking to be a part of the foundation of goodness right them fellas and i may realize that when they come inside of here with the nonsense right when they come inside of here with the nonsense here what we don't them <laughs> <laughs> they really feel people stupid, you know. I want to give you a story, you know. I want to give you a story, bad, bad, bad. Hey, listen, let me tell you something, Mark Lewis. These fellas are even bothering me, you know. These fellas are amusing me. These fellas are amusing me. The closest person in my life, right, used to have an effect on me. No. That person does amuse me. So when these clowns and them come inside out here, Shirin Muhammad, right? Let me tell you something. When these clowns, who, I mean, at the end of the day, everybody in here, inside out here, I value them. Eh? I value them, the moderators, the commenters, the silent viewers, that kind of thing. But when clowns come inside out here and feel that them could... In the earlys, these fellas will have gave me vex, right? But no, that I accept everything. These fellas ain't having no impact on me. I just be setting traps for them, you know. I set traps for Hidan. I set traps for Ryan. And I set traps for one or two other people, right? I set traps for them. And I also give them a lot of chances according to Susie. Right? But watch me. If I give you all your story about Ryan, all they're gonna laugh, all their belly full, full, full. All they're gonna laugh. And all I only witness it. All I only witness it is when we went up by Denville and he wanted to give a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs>
Hey, I saw you to see what I had in my pocket was a hundred dollars. And I see Deadville. I see brother. I see honest to God. I sorry boy, but it's all I have. I give him out a hundred dollars. I feel so shame. I feel so shame when Ryan see him. <laughs> Yes, I'll call it. I'll call it just now, deal tech. I'll call it just now, right? But here is that, and then he better get an accident, and then like, oh my god, how does all like fools? Yes, the man, the man, am um, vouch a hundred thousand dollars. Yes, a hundred thousand dollars. Next five minutes, the man. Brother getting an accident. Now, God forbid if it is the man, brother, really getting an accident. But what killed me is this. <laughs> no, no, watch me. He won't go with him now. He pledged a hundred thousand dollars. Right? And if all I can remember, I said, no, 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 let, let me do me, let me do me. Oh gosh, she read, yes, don't worry, I calm, I calm. I just having some fun here tonight. Right? When he, what about he going on the, the tour bird sanctuary and he wife fighting for his life? Yes. Yes. Hey. Boy, when his wife was dying. Yeah. Boy, them fellas and them, who they feel like a fool, boy? Here, the man say, the man say, he have to go. He, um, he brother get in an accident, right? Now, he living in Tableland, according to what he said in the chat, he living in Tableland. <coughs> the nearest hospital is San Fernando. Fifteen minutes later, he say that, um, what? He reached the hospital and then he ball, oh my God, nobody is stealing my crap tonight, Michael. Yes. Oh gosh, hey, hear that man. Them fellas good, boy. Them fellas good. Nadia, who them feel? Who them really feel they're fooling, girl? Share your crap now, let me suck up, piece of crap. <coughs> they good. They real good. It has one set of nice people in here. It is having like about 40 people in the chat room. You are 3,000 pong a pumpkin, right? That you can't get sell. Yeah? But here what happening. You never study. Well, guys, here what happening. I will come by Grand Bazaar, right? I come along with a three ton truck. And since everybody's so nice in the chat room, right? Since everybody. <laughs> Look, Susie, back him up. Yeah? I had 3,000 bunga pumpkin, but mm. everybody's so nice in the, everybody's so nice in the chat room. Here what's going on now. Guys, come, and everybody could get a little 50 bunga pumpkin. I gain all of that for free. <laughs> them fellas good, boy. Is that our time to, is, is that our time to call them out? Yeah. And you coming in my chat here tonight. I come home. I had my river line. Yeah, I... Take all my, my little sours, drink my beers, whatever. I come home here and you telling me about drinking rum. I come home, I suck and grab, I drink and juice. Boy, Ole, don't take you on Look how everybody, yeah, daily pine minister. <laughs> oh, no. hey. Now, after a while, people on a all seriousness. After a while, when you hear people playing the fool all the time, it have a time. Did anyone get pints at all? Nobody. And here now, Mama, when I tell you, Mama Lulu, she real naive, you know. Hey, she now, oh gosh, 
he was going to drop pine and we was home. I said, Mommy, what wrong with you, girl? I said, what wrong with you? Mommy, you, you feel that boy was really passing? I said, that boy is a scoundrel, man. <laughs> I said, I go go and buy you three pineapples for you. Hey. You know what channel they might be called in this chat? Susie, I tell you how Sana. The Sana give him my number, he never call. <laughs> I'm glad my moderators back him up. All right. All right, so I want to send a big, big shout out to Kelly and her husband, Matthew. I understand that you all had a baby girl this morning, a bundle of joy. It's coming from Sally, all right, your aunt, and also the whole, whole crew and Sana. I mean, a baby being born, that's our blessings. It's a bundle of joy. So blessings and I'm wishing you all good parenting in the future. And may God bless you all on this build of new life. And remember, it's coming from your aunt, Sally Kumar. Congratulations to Kelly and Matthew. God's plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Katty Gill. Susie, thank you. You're really back me here tonight. It's about time. Right, deal text saying congratulations to Kelly and Matthew. <clears throat> Shireen, hello. Leave them and let them go. All right, we over that, Shireen. We celebrated um, the birth of Kelly and Matthew's baby, coming from Sally Kumar. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Everybody, Patricia. That was like a piece of glass. We didn't even get pine salt. <laughs> Maria, he never did. I did not expect that pine fiasco. And the hundred thousand to the Toko people. Judy T. This is Azisha. Judy T. I wish I could call out the last one who played. He sided with Sana. Now like he do be on crap too. So before I get in trouble, I go and sleep. Love you all. We love you too, Azisha. <laughs> and William. <laughs> oh gosh, no deal tech. Crab suck it, boy. I tell you, this mangrove crab really sweet, you know. You're welcome. You're welcome, Sally. Susie says, since, since you never posted it, the mic watching the cookie eye. <laughs> hey. <laughs> mm. I tell all you, I guess you not seen my message. Jackie John, I was out for the entire day, right? And I don't have any what's, um, data. As soon as I came home, I went live, right? So, Jackie, if it's a WhatsApp message you sent me, I have not checked my, my messages as yet, right? So, sorry about that. I'll check it after, all right? <coughs> yeah, nah, yeah, Azisha, hold it back. Hold it back a little bit. Mm. Right? Mm. Hold it back a little bit. All right. So, Shireen, I can't take the call as yet, but don't mm. worry. Mm. Don't worry. I good. Right? I good. People are trying to call me. Maybe they're worried. Yes? Maybe they're, they're, they're worried that I will lose it. I'm not going to lose it, guys. I have been through so much. All right? 
But every now and again, you have to change up your tone a little bit. When you want to draw people out, right? You have to hit them a little talk. You have to choke them, you know, to pull them out. And then when you pull them out, you deal with them, right? You whip them. Hey, from Scotland. Good vibes. Welcome, welcome. Imtaz, that boy make my food taste sweeter, boy. <laughs> yes, so Imtaz, have a good night. Maureen, have a good night. Remember, guys, if God spare life, inshallah, at 6, between 6 and 6.15, we're going live. All right? Also, Mira had an injury. Mm. Mira, I'm sorry to hear about that. I know you're now in back on an exercise program, right? Hmm. That is all we have to do, Marina. That is all we have to do. You see, look. It's, he put himself in the fire in line here tonight, you know? Mm hmm. He threw himself in the hot water. All right, so good night, Sally, and congratulations on the birth of a new one. Mm -hmm. So guys, this is a perfect example. <clears throat> yes, that's right, I'm just venting. The fire, much love, good vibes, welcome again. All right, but this is a very good example of what we mean by long rope for maga goat. So now we always trying to explain, and now we have ourselves a perfect example of what long rope for maga good means thank you panther right hold on all right so condolences going out to the pharma right Pharma Ram Barat, right? We understand from Kevin that he lost his dad this morning. So condolences to you from our community. All right, sorry to hear that, Kevin. Please accept our sympathies. All right, Jackie John, don't worry. We will be in contact, all right? Vanita, snakes cheat skin, but they can't hide their poisonous personality. <laughs> oh God. Hey. Yes. All right. So condolences. Yes, Katian. When is time, right? When is time for licks? Is licks? <laughs> Don't spare the run and spoil the child. It's about time he got licks, making him. Who is the next model? Good. Please stand up. Please stand up. <laughs> totally way easy, yo. Yes, Sally, I have some orange juice here. Hold on. <laughs> Long rook for Maga Good.
Sweet Dreams, Jackie John. I will check it out, right? Of course, Vinita. You know, that same boy, Ryan, he have about two or three phones because if all I could recall, if all I could recall, just as he finished talk, he mother come on and say, did y'all know that Ryan's wife is something like, I can't remember exactly how she put it or what, you know? No, Shireen, don't miss the point now. Nah. Don't miss the point. Me and Vex here or nothing. I not Vex or nothing. I just exposing people for who they are. Get my pine juice quite good. <laughs> Alright, so good vibes. This channel is sensitivity. But unfortunately, somebody come in here with plenty of negativity. They have been here for months. And unfortunately, we had to really kind of let them know, you know. But the channel is about positivity and we welcome you, good vibes. And we hope that we see you again. All right. Blessings to you. And then lots of love. Yes, Judy from his mother's phone. Mm -hmm. As he mother reach, he gone. Yeah, you remember him good. As he wife reach, he gone. <laughs> you see how you see how people you see how I would have never know that Marina catch on to he or Judith catch on to he had Donny catch on to he had Hadefa catch on to he don't have a didn't see that them, but you know. People, <laughs> Ryan, you see, boy, you see, you thought you had all these people fool. Yeah, you thought you had all these people fool. And then was he telling yourself, I will make Mr. Sarah look stupid because I will go and tell people, Mr. Sarah, like he drunk and he get on do this. But look, everybody inside here, everybody inside here make you own boy. Tell yourself, somebody finish it for me. Ryan, tell yourself. Mm hmm. Tell yourself what? Somebody finish it for me now, man. Don't make me waste my words on here. All right, so send a lot of love to everybody. Jen, good night. What are you telling yourself? Yes, man. Tell yourself what you're telling yourself. Dolly, very, very good explanation, indeed. That was some life tonight, guys. That was some life. Tell yourself what you're telling yourself. And you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. You don't wreck already, boy. You got to change your profile name. This is what I was telling all you. I was trying to warn all you, but all you wasn't listening to me. Was trying to tell all you protect all yourself now ryan when people see you in other people's chat room they're gonna be laughing at you you're gonna feel shame because everybody make you out right you're gonna feel shame everybody make you out when you go on teenish everybody gonna make you out when you go on vidish when you was bad talking about vidish channel and talking about mr sarah go talk 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 too much you see how this get back boy oh gosh where you feel is a network boy. <laughs> hey, long rope for Maga Good. Long rope for Maga Good. Oh gosh. Now the boy had to go and get a new profile. Oh gosh, Ryan. Every time you go away. Yes, you saw that too. You take a piece of me with you, Ryan. Every time you steal the show. Oh, gosh. Ryan, why did you have to go? 
I have a hundred pounds of pine. Oh gosh, I want to share it. It's all mine. But you never put up your number. Instead, you didn't even want to deliver. I have a hundred thousand dollars. Would you like that for your family? Oh, <laughs> yeah, you don't play with mad people, boy. Oh, gosh, hey, boy. Oh, let's laugh at him, laugh at him, and true. Because, eh, he feel like here, yeah, the man going on videos and talking about, oh, oh, oh. Mr. Um, somebody say, why you don't care, Mr. Sana? Hey, now. No, 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 he go talk of the ears. I and the man saying he is my friend and he go stand by me and all kind of thing and have people laughing at me on village. Ryan boy, boy, <laughs> pay back there for you, boy. <laughs> oh gosh, hey, boy, I tell you, boy, good when you could reach that point, when you could reach that point where. It really is like water and a dog's back, boy. Oh, gosh. I, I tell you, eh? Clicks, clicks, clicks. Sarah, you have the ET, bro. <laughs> hey, watch me now. Oh, that kicks. Oh, that seriousness. If anybody else, if anybody else seen Ryan in any other chat room. Let me know that. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know how much belly this boy really have. Because he have plenty belly, you know. Again, that yeah. I tell him, yeah, the fella had a real belly boy. Just like you, yeah. The boy had belly way. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey. Don't forget I a certified man, man. <laughs> You're gonna be you'll be surprised what stress can do. <laughs> Alright, um I put my bad boy. I realized too. Alright, so guys, I realized I'll having real real fun. So I ain't going nowhere. Right? I ain't going no nowhere. Good vibes, welcome to the chat. Right? Let me <laughs> Well they really like stupid this you know? But you know how I, I love all the too bad. All right, so let me just plug in this charger here. And let me go for the click, click, clicks. Oh, gosh, hey. Well, I've had some good fun tonight. Eh? <laughs> when it's time to draw them out, draw them out, boy. Hey, Suri, um, him and Suri, Susie, girl, you see this? Thank you. He's our darling. Mm -hmm. Guys, flip camera. 
All right, all right here. Right here behind all you. I love all little bad. Oh gosh, I eat my crab and a nice, nice, nice. Yes, 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 Susie, I love it, girl. I love it. All right, so let me see, Sana. Are you Jamaican, brother? Good vibes. No, I'm from, I'm from Trinidad. Good vibes. I'm so sorry. Um, I was so distracted in this chat tonight. What country are you from? Good vibes. I'm from Trinidad. And guys, I can talk a little louder now. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yes, Susie, thank you. Yes, yes, Nadia Gill. So I come outside. And if I see if I hardly missing these days. This chat is so positive and motivation. Love you guys. You are the best. Send in love. Mira, we love you too. Sarah, he don't have belly. He have rotten pine. Oh gosh. All right, let me let, let me give my eyes up. Let me give my eyes up. Let me give my eyes up. Let me give my eyes up now. I love you, Sana. Don't tell Wild Honey. I love you too, Hanifa. Mm hmm. Ah. There comes a time. There comes a time. People, there comes a time. I really, I don't like, I, I don't like doing people this. All right? I really don't like. Thank you. Yes, it's resting right on my heart, Susie. All right, so. Uh, he's from Scotland. Good vibes. He's 1,000% Trini. Hmm. Yeah. I really don't like, you know, drawing people out. But the thing about it is that other people is be able to... But you love Faith Sana. It's so much... <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> to the crab bone. <clears throat> nah, you know. I really, I, I, I don't like. But I have a wealth, a wealth of experience. You know, and I thank God for, for, for knowledge, for wisdom. And the thing about it eh, is that when you hear people negative, it's very easy to identify, especially if you're a positive person. You see, people who are in a negative mindset, they don't ever be able to see or be able to listen. It's easy to see, all right? Because it just does not song right, you know? It just does not song right with you. I just jab my thumb finger and nail intact all right be careful be careful judy t hey michael i sorry about you too brother i sorry about you too all right i just get so caught up here uh, uh, from reading the chat like something went wrong with you too when you got that pic with you and suri yes katian it was and guys i have a nice video to post up susie was actually um videotaping it also <coughs> exactly they don't realize it's their natural habit you know indeed totally different value system and if everybody thinks that they are right then when you hear they put it on the table you will be able to read those cards Right, FPL. Judy won two minutes before. Katian sending love from Susie. Yes, past it. <laughs> yes, Katian, indeed.
Sana, they mark lowers here. Sana, when your heart pure and clean, you will feel bad, eh? But you did nothing wrong, bro. It's better you than me because he would have get it worse. And that's why you are my older brother. Said the love. Lovers, thank you. <laughs> they'll take that on i will not sleep just now guys we are approaching two hours we eight minutes away right so we going to look to lock off i'm gonna flip the camera we're gonna engage a little bit i'm gonna sing a little rock a bye love a for you and everybody go and sleep good vibes it was indeed a pleasure seeing you in the chat and you remained in it and we appreciate you for that we love you and welcome to our little humble community where we try to uplift people make them feel good Is all your boy Sana. <laughs> yes, yes, I have to be careful about that penny. All right, so we go and spend our eight minutes again, guys, and then we go and touch on because I surely want to see me in the morning, and I want to see all you also. <laughs> oh gosh! All right, so Tara, wait, 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 have we done? We done sing a little bit for you. <coughs> Thank you, Mark Lewis. All right. Lullaby and good night. Be my da -na 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 -da -na -na. 109. 109 people in the house. 109 likes. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a marking bird. And if that marking bird don't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. Hey, Delia can't sleep. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick. Yes, Dolly, it's time, right? So whenever I'm ready to put, no, 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 no cursing, Panda. That overs with. That overs with. Don't worry, brother. Right? We had a good day and we guys where people will be stealing our joy. Alright? MJ, good night. Alright. You singing so nice. Thank you, Neil Tech. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, so guys, let me see how good my memory is. Somebody, um, we talk about nursery rhymes here. Give me a nursery rhyme, a nursery rhyme, and let me see. Right? All right, good vibes. Peace out. Right? All right, no problem, Shireen. Have a good night. Blessings. All right, your favorite nursery rhyme. Let me recite it. I'm doing three of them. Hey, diddy diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Darian enjoy the second. Nice. All right, Darian. Let me sing. Let me sing one, Darian. All right. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Hey. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after.
There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she did not know what to do. So she gave them a spanking without any so she gave them a spanking without any bread. No, no, no. Um, there was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. So she gave them some broth without any bread. She gave them a spanking and sent them to bed. Um, three little pigs. How would I go again, boy? Three little pigs. Goldilocks. All right. Oh, well, I want the story about the three little pigs. <laughs> All right, what about this one? Your children there, they lie down and they're going and taking their toes. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef and this little piggy had none. And this little piggy cried, wee, 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 all the way home. Around we go, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Around we go, the mulberry bush, on a cold and frosty morning. There's a brown girl in the ring, cha la 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 la. There's a brown girl in the ring, cha la la la. There's a brown girl in the ring, cha la 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 la. And she looks like a shaker and a plum, plum, plum. Flying object, sukuya. Miss Dolly, I spelled it wrong. FPLM fellas is Buffalo Soldiers. Indeed, Buffalo Soldier. Dreadlock Rasta. I say Buffalo Soldier. In the hearts of America. Woke up this morning. Smile at the rising sun. Three little birds. Besides my doorsteps, singing sweet songs of melody pure and true, saying, This is my message to you. Old Mother Howard went to the cupboard to get a poor doggy a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare, and so the little doggy got none. Mm hmm. Yes, man. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, guys, we still have 104 people locked on. That is awesome. 10 seconds away from two hours. Bar, bar, black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for the master and one for the team. One for the little girl who lives down the lane. Yes. Nice to know that, um, Marina. And of course, I have a close in tune. Sing Jesus Loves Me and let me go and sleep. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Da -da 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 -da. There are we. But we are strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Oh gosh. We missing Alice and the kids. We are they. Well, they are home and I am at my parents' home. All right, we are separated. Would high, all right, and just remember it's a sensitive matter, so please be careful with the questions that you may ask. Baba Black Sheep has bad it. <laughs> oh gosh, guys, I really enjoy eating that crab with you all. It was so amazing to know we had like about 150 people locked on watching this big head man sucking our way crown. <laughs> yes. Oh gosh. It was good. You know, and sometimes it's good to um to change it up a little bit. 
<laughs> this she lies, you mean? <laughs> Better yet leave silence privately. Yes. It's a sensitive matter, right? To the person who was asking. I know you're a bit curious to know. Yes. Let me see our next one. Huh? Um, Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world. Whether yellow, black, or white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. After that episode, <laughs> this big head handsome Santa. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes, Dolly, it was in it. This is an epic. Like, I think every life that we do now is, is epic. Indeed, indeed. All right, so Bindra, special good night to you. Special good night to your husband, Rakesh. Thank you once again for lining up uh, with Deal Tech and Christy and Mini Tech to send the books for Kevin. Kevin, you'll have the books soon. All right, Bindra, it was indeed a pleasure speaking to you on the video call. All right, and hopefully one day I'll meet you. Big up to all the people in Lal to Trace. I hope I have the name of it correctly. Yes, and Mark Lewis picking up Sydney City and Suri. <laughs> yes, Kevin. Oh gosh. Jesus love is a bubbling over. That is all I do, eh? Because Sydney and Sidney used to come. Jesus love is a bubbling over. Jesus love is a bubbling over. <laughs> Amy Tech, Budai, Ramcharan. Okay, no problem, no problem, um, Budai, no, no problem. All right, blessings, blessings. And I hope we see you in the chat. Please don't be deterred because of what I may have mentioned there. All right, respect. All right, respect. And sending lots of love to you, Budai and the Ramcharan family. Blessings. All right. I know everybody misses Ellis food and more very much. All right. Indeed, Mark Lewis. Wonderful comment. To get put out. <laughs> oh, God. Hey. Bye, people. See you all in the morning. All right, Kevin. Nice. So moderators, thank you very much. All the commenters, appreciate you all very much. We burn in fire tonight. All right. Well, we go in. Me afraid of Panta. All right. How many moderators we have in the house? We have Amy Tech. I uh, believe Susie is still here. Dolly Muller, Judy T, FPL Fire. Holiday tomorrow day so we can party whole night then, Mark Lewis. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Boy, Panta, let me tell you something. If you have any sneaks out tonight, trust me. They're going back in the hole. They ain't coming out again tonight. No, no, no. They all retract. You ain't realize since we killed one of them the other night, he ain't come back again. I don't know if he going in there. Ah, yes. I hear he was in somebody else's chat. <laughs> oh, God. Hey. In Canada, is a holiday, I think. Yes. We up and on fire. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> Oh gosh, but, but, but we had some fun, you know, we had some fun with the man. I wish you could have come back on and take a, just like a two rounds again, boy. Sana, we make it up for the missing, missing the chat this morning. 
All right, so, so we like me dead. <laughs> hey. Yesterday, yes, I, I, I'm sure. What's the time? I seen his corner pass, 11. And I feel we could still like my little bit and I could still try and do the life in the morning. So that's the hottest ticket. <laughs> Oh gosh, Mark Lewis, I love you and Richie Six do I don't know. Oh gosh, Patricia Bedo. No, Sarah, please go and take a rest now. Why well, you're frightening somebody more fear for Dolly? <laughs> Big up all the haters too. They still giving you some views, Sarah. Yes. Hadefa. Sarah setting we up, no life in the AM. Nah, 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 nah. Had a fire coming on, I coming on. <laughs> hey, and the price of admission is no heater vibes. That nah, boy, I can't make sleep time. All right, tech. <laughs> well, you may get moderated. A hundred. <laughs> I had some real fun tonight, you know. I didn't think, I didn't think I'd have so much effort. He ain't chewed up. Dolly, watch me. I feel, I feel your friend. Somebody come and blow you out. <laughs> you read between the lines now. Mira Gil, I ain't gonna lie, yeah? I, I know you have been requesting this a long, long time, Gil. But watch me, I wouldn't lie. Between making the lives, doing the videos and editing and thing, I ain't lying you. It could be real hard for me to, to manage something like that also. You know, and what will end up happening is that people will come in there and start to disrespect and thing too. So that could be like, that, that could be like a stretching myself thin. You know what I mean? No, hey, Tara, if by 12 o'clock, I done went and take my bath and everything, right? I'm just sweating again. But 12 o'clock, I go into bed. If I get my five solid hours, I good to go. Yeah. Right, okay, back to us. Yes, Tony, I do. All right, so Javed, here we're going on. A day when you get a chance, come and check me. Obviously, like you have more knowledge about this than me, come and talk to me and let me see how we could go about setting it up. All right? All right, so Mira, Javed, we boy, looking to hook up something. I love you, darling. Yes. Yes, I will sleep. All right, so for the young people, we we will organize and um, yeah, it's, it's optional, right? Indeed. All right, so Javed, check me out. We will talk about that, right? All right. So we will see how it goes. Susie, you must go on and sleep. But Gil, once again, you see this thing? When I tell you, boy, I love this so much. Suri, boy. I'm a Gil, Gil, you know. I love all my children, but this little Gil, real special to me. Princess Margaret. She was real friendly, um. <clears throat> Yes. <coughs> Do 
That is really my twin arm, Vinita Gill. She was real happy to see us. Um, uh, trouble, Trini out on our boat was there. His, his wife, Philly, Flower Queen, Katie, Ellie, and I call her because the mom was trying to keep her by the donor. And I say, come Suri, come, come, come. And she run across and Suri was so happy to, you know, be able to engage with other children because sad to say, they're not really engaging with anybody, right? Um, they don't engage, they're not engaging with Linda and kids. Basically, they're inside a lot, you know? But I could see that they were really, really happy to, she was happy to see other kids, you know? Yes. Well, that was nice, that was nice. I call her yes because I want to see my daughter. I want to see my daughter. Susie, at the time that I went there, I had this in my bag because... Yes. The phone, the phone battery ran dead. Okay, can you guys hear me now? We back on. Power issues. <laughs> this food has been working. Penny, imagine that I talk out our battery. Yes, I get to see her. I had to use a little tactics to be able to see her, but I get through, and that is the most important thing to me. Mm -hmm. I was in the company of people, so person didn't have a choice. Zara, good night. Who is this Zara? All right, good, Mr. 157. Thank you. Big up to all the people in Toronto. Okay, all right. I wonder, is she a flying monkey or just a random person? What do you think? Spam, all right. Times I watched that today. I hope everybody had a really good weekend. Uh, guys, all right, so now that we kind of cool down, right? Let me explain something to all you. And hi, Priestess 999. Sending lots of love to you too. All the way up to New Orleans. Welcome to the chat. First time I've seen you here. Welcome. Right. So. I want, I 
want to explain. I want I want to explain. Yes, welcome to Priestess. Hanifa, I am getting tired. And when I go to lie down, I'm going to sleep really well. But I am enjoying being here with you all. Right? Now, I want to tell you something. In the beginning, in the beginning, when I started this channel, right, I used to get a lot, a lot of heaters. Right? You all will be aware that I was no longer on Ellis Food and More. And I had my own channel, right? Um, unfortunately, and I can speak about these things without reservations, right? I was banned from Ellis Food and More. From the moment I opened up my channel, I was not allowed to be on her channel right and just to bring some clarity i was not allowed to have the children on my channel i was actually making a video right i was actually making a video and mr blake how are you in yes i was making a video and i was videotaping the girls and I was instructed, right? Yes, we could just listen, guys, right? It has taken me months to reach that point where I think it's okay for me to talk about these things, right? And I don't do anything by guess. It's how I'm moved. I never even knew that I was going to do a live tonight. I am collective, right? So, let me just listen. I, when I opened this channel, I had intentions that if we have two YouTube channels, it will be two forms of, sorry, yes, it will be two sets of incomes coming into the home, right? She had a really, really strong channel. And I was going on the strength of her channel that my channel could grow also. Now, I was planning to have a totally different content from her. I said that I would have focused, welcome High Priestess, right? Glad that you're feeling drawn, right? So, I told myself that if I open up a channel, my content will be to do a home garden, right? And also talk about um, positivity, right? Trying to motivate people. I thought that it would have gone really well together with Ellis Food and More because what would have happened is that when she is going to do her food videos, right? She will go into the garden, pick fresh produce, and have farm-to-table type videos. Right? <laughs> Only following me, good. So, I also said <clears throat> that her videos, it was really, um, I have to say, Top of the line work, well edited, nice content, nice music, that kind of thing. So, a lot of work used to go in to her videos. Maybe it might take about a week together with everything in the household to do. It will take her about a week to edit her video. So, I was looking at it as um, she could have the blockbuster on the Friday. Now, my videos, as all you could see, it's not well edited, but I just put in content together. And the idea of my channel is that while I was vlogging the garden and doing the positivity talks, every now and again, whenever I'm passing in the kitchen, I'll be like, hey, Ellis, so what you doing? 
What are you cooking today? Boy, I'm doing a dal and rice and curry chicken. All right, nice, nice. And maybe she might do a little shout out. But guys, it went a totally different direction. Totally different direction. She did not want the children in my videos. I was banned from her videos. She told me that if I have my own channel, I would not be on her videos. Right? And as you could imagine, many, many people were coming out really, really hard on me about like YouTube has gone to your head. You don't even want your children in your videos, right? You don't even want to be in Ellis videos. And I was like, I wasn't in a position. I wasn't in a position because I wanted to be very, very careful the way I'm presenting. But I have decided over the last week that, you know something? Just like how, unfortunately, I had to draw Ryan out, it's time for me to really, whenever I feel, whenever I feel up to it, to tell the truth from my side. From my side. And I ain't tell it. I am not telling only anything other than the truth. And who want to deem me as a liar? Maybe what all they could do is go back. Go back. Go back to the videos. Thank you, Lunatech. Go back to the videos. Go back to Ellis Fuda and more. And now that you have this information, try to look at our videos from a different perspective. Yeah. Go back and look at the videos. Go back and look at the videos. Mm hmm. All right, we'll check it out, Lunatech. Thank you. Yep. Real talk here tonight, people. Real talk from my point of view. Blessings and advance and hurry. All right, Lunatech. Mm -hmm. So, I had to face a lot of ridicule, a lot of ridicule. I don't want my children in my videos. People don't even know. I had great intentions. Great intentions. Honest intentions. That I was going to... You see, I was actually studying Ellis Food and More analytics. And I was seeing... Frida, good night, good night. A lot of love for you in here. Thank you, Lunatech, and we love you too. Right. I, I had good intentions. And as all you could recall, never once, and if, and moderators, it's okay. No people could send in their comments. If there has ever been one time if there has ever been one time that I spoke ill of Ellis or Ellis Food and More, prior to what all they might have heard yesterday, and I still don't think that I ill speak anybody yesterday, I never discredited, I never discredited anyone. I never did. I never did as far as I could recall. And I have a very good memory, people. 
according to what they say, drunk or sober. I have a very, very, very good memory. And I am very careful with my words. Or they would not believe how fast my thoughts spin in my head before they come out of my mouth. And I thank God for that gift. That I could process things at lightning speed. I freestyle in here for all you know. Yes, Marina, never. I freestyle in here. I don't have any script in front of me. And you know why I could speak these things at lightning speed? If anybody could answer that, I'll give you a hundred dollars. Do you know why I could process these things so quickly? <laughs> ah, as you shall have a hundred dollars for you. I could speak these things at lightning speed because I'm speaking the truth. I am speaking the truth. Guys, let me tell you something. One of the worst things that I have ever experienced in my entire life is this thing. And let me tell you all this something. You know why I have decided to take this live channel into a different direction because it's time for me to speak in the first person i always talking about narcissists do this and narcissists do that and i'm talking about empaths and i'm talking about flying monkeys because i was always afraid that maybe the person might be able to use this against me in a court. And now, I have nothing to fear. Because it looks as though has won the battle. Has won the battle. So now it's time for me to really start to talk as an experienced person in the first person narrative. To you all because you know why i want to help you all and it's better coming from me than me talking in the third person or the second person this is me this is my experience me sharing with you me telling you that i have been a victim of a horrible horrible smear campaign Terrible, terrible, terrible guys. Why do you think I always watching over my back? Yeah? Why do you all think I am always looking over my shoulders and looking for reflections of what is happening over there? Why do you think I doing that? Because I know, I know the things that are being said about me. I have been accused of the unthinkable. The things that I have been accused for. Guys, I am supposed to be in Golden Grove prisons. Right? I am supposed to be in Golden Grove prison. And you know something? You know how I end up out of my house? Yes? Everybody, everybody does get a different story from the individual. He left the home. He got involved with another woman. Yeah? He used to beat me up.
enough was enough. I had to run him out of the house. Guys, let me feel some facts. Right? It was used to be played on me. You know how many times, but remind me of that and we'll talk about that a little more in depth. Because guys, now, now that I'm coming out of the closet, I am going to improve even more. Because now I can really empty my brains. I can empty out my brains now. More than I have done already. Only thing I look in young now, I'm going to get younger than this. Right? So, the person started to put post on Facebook indicating that they're tired of the domestic violence. And the proof is there. You could go up on the person's profile and you will see her talking about domestic violence. And the person talking about the truth. Who is ready for the truth? Then the person started talking about gaslighting. Yeah, gaslighting. Yes, guys. All of these things. But thanks to the Lord, right? Thanks. Uh, Tara is saying that she read some. Thanks to the Lord, I never laid my hands on her. I will admit here, because everybody in my family knows it, when I had the mental breakdown, I did. I did on that one occasion. I was physically abusive to my wife and I did hit her about six slaps. I was trying my best to stop and I could not. Mind you, when I came out of the mental institution, I struck myself like about 20 slaps to my face. I'm talking about man, hard, hard man slap. Pow! Melissa, I'm sorry. Pow! I slapped myself so hard that the workers in my workshop, they run out of the workshop. And I was just trying to show that girl how sorry I was. Real talk. Yeah, that's what we should call this real, real talk. So I admit here tonight on YouTube that when I had my mental breakdown, I did strike my wife. And I'm not denying that. But I can tell you one thing. That was the first that was the last and i am very very sorry that i did that to you melissa if ever you watch this clip and i have apologized a hundred times to you for that a hundred times i have said i am sorry i apologize to your mother too and you are really really sorry that i hit your daughter Again, it's all real. I'm being honest. And when I come out of St. Anne's, start to put up these posts talking about domestic violence. And when I see that, right? When I see that, I say, but thank you, Susie. When I see that, I say, but what is Melissa doing to me, boy? What is Melissa doing to me? I just there being humble, trying my best to be my best and putting up these things about me. 
how she could do that to me? How could she do that to me? And started now to provoke me. Thank you, Wayne Coca. Start to provoke me. You know why? Hoping that I will physically strike her, that she could call the police to come and arrest me. I know what she was playing for. I know what she was playing for. And you know, you know what made me come out of that house that night? I lie down. Right? I lie down. Editing. I know not my, my YouTube channel. And I didn't lie down. But I started to lock the door. Because, honest to you all guys, I was very afraid of Melissa. Very, very afraid. And I talk about physically afraid. And I lock my door. Right? Lock my door. Knock, 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 knock. I say, who is it? Sydney. Open the door. Sydney comes inside the room. Goes to, because I was staying in the guild's room. Right? She, um, she going to get like her nighty and thing. Hey, hey. So I go on back on my bed and I lie down. Right? I go on and I lie down. And here it is now. Right? Here it is. Melissa comes into the room. My wife. And if I get locked up for this, I don't care. But it's time to let people know the truth. Walks inside. And tells my big daughter. While I am lying on the bed. Go ahead, darling. Go and get your clothes. I will protect you from this monster. <laughs> that is what she said to my daughter. Go ahead. I will protect you from this monster. And I will let everybody know the nasty monster, La Sana Batises. And I will let, I will let the world know how nasty the whole Batis family is. Mm -hmm. And I get up. I get up. And I see Melissa. Poor Sydney, poor Sydney, trying to grab up she clothes and trying to run out of the room. I don't know if in her mind, I don't know if in her mind, hey, maybe if I exit the room, maybe if I exit the room, mommy will come out of the room. And I get up. Guys, I started to get a little strength, you know. And I get up and I said, Melissa, please get out of my room. I will get out when I am ready. I will get out when I am ready. I said, Melissa, get out of my room, girl. And then I realized, hey, you know something? I got to turn this volume up a little too much. And I don't want to distress my children. And I grabbed my bunch of keys. And I went through the front door. Lock it. And I went and I sit down. I went and I sat down on a black chair right next to the water tank that had the, the water crest. The water crest with the fish in it. And I sit down. Let me show you how I sit down. Eh? I sit down so. And I looking up at the stars. I was like, Lord. Please, please, I can't take this again. I 
I take up my phone. Right? I take up my phone. And I call a girl. Right? Linda, what are you saying? Listening, Linda. And correct me if I'm wrong. Eh? And I call this girl. And I say, girl, hear this now. Please, just do my favor. Stay on this phone with me. Just stay on the phone. I wouldn't be talking. Right? I wouldn't be talking. But I just want to know that it have somebody there listening to me. And she said, all right, Lasana, I'm here for you. I say, all right, thanks. And as I see that, blacks turn on one bright light on me. One bright light. And I look at her and I said, I said, I can't believe you, girl. I cannot believe you. I come outside here to get a little peace of mind. And that is what you could do to me, girl. I, I tell the girl, I say, hey, listen, I say, if, if, if we get cut off, it's because I'm going by my brother. Reach my eye good. It's because I'm going by my brother. I say, but do hang up, you know. I say, do hang up. I should have gone live in through Susie. But I didn't have the presence of mind to do it back then. Right? Anyway, my sister, my sister and two other colleagues, they were just leaving Lyndon's place. Barbara Shop, welcome. Right? They were just leaving my brother's place, Lyndon. And they had reached by the chain link fence. And I see Liba. I see Liba. She says, Sana, what happened? I say, oh gosh, I'm so glad to be releasing this tonight. Eh? I released some yesterday, and today I feel this here gonna be like the final chapter. I say, I say, Liba, kill. I feel like going crazy. She said, What happened? I say, Liba. I can't take it no more. I can't take it. I can't take it, Liba. And then, and then, she tells me, she says, Sana, go up by your brother. Go up by him right, right now. I say, Liba, I really go in. Because tonight, I go in and end up back in St. Anne's. My name is Dr. Has Rashid. Okay, so welcome to the chat. Yes, I said, I am going crazy. I am going to end up in St. Anne's tonight. She said, Sana. Go up by your brother right, right now. Guys, that was the final walk away from that house. And always, as I always say on my chats, religiously, attitude of gratitude. Lord, thank you so much for helping me to keep the presence of mind that I did not do anything that I should not have done. And as a lot of you may be able to recollect from little hints here and there, right? From little hints here and there. Lyndon and I 
I put linen through hell. I put linen through so much a hell that linen had to flee from his own home with his wife and children. And Lyndon, Lyndon, that night, Lyndon received me in his house without any reservations. Now, guys, this is why I have decided to come out plain and simple with it. Because from this, now I will be able in the future to deliver to y'all in a very, very professional manner about my situation. Now I will be able to tell people how, how people thoughts work, how people minds work, how some people think that things will work out based on their own value system, all that they believe in, that everything that has happened to them, they believe it's going to happen to other people. Right? So now I am going to have a lot more flexibility to be able to bring across to y'all these kind of life experiences. Guys, it has not been an easy road. And yes, I made, I professed on Ellis Food and More about my drug problem and my losing my sanity. And while it is, the person presented themselves as a good support system for me, they treated me like shit. Plain talk. Moderators, don't block me. Yeah. There it is. There it is. The evidence is all over there. I was treated like a puppet. Look at how much my channel has to offer in terms of content. Was I ever given a voice in that channel? Was I given a voice? Alu choker boy. Peel the alu. Pong the damn adola. Sing a chutney. Sammy the snake, Sammy the snake. Sammy the snake, don't make no mistake. Yeah. <laughs> hey boy. Big video about supporting me. What's supporting me? What? In the beginning, gave me a plate of food. I beg to go back in my house. I beg. When I come out at St. Anne's, the first thing that person tell me is that they was hoping St. Anne's never let me go. I tell you, that is something to tell somebody. Is that something to tell someone? And I don't care if anybody try to sue me. I don't care. I don't care. It have plenty of people inside that here will help me. It have plenty of people here will back me. And say, hey, they will come and protest. What the person want to sue me for talking the truth? I spend time in St. Dan's. Yes, I spend the time. And I try to make St. Dan's look as good as possible. But you know, it is to be sleeping and you seeing rats skating, playing football on our floor. And you know about things such as, um, why these rats could give you um, leprospirosis? Guys, how you go tell, right? How you go tell your husband, how you go tell your husband that you wish that I never get to come out as him dance? You find, you find that right? Tell me now. Now remember, 
remember i tell all you that i did physically strike her right so bear that in mind but still you find out warrant me spending the rest of my life in scene dance <laughs> Bye. I tell you <laughs> oh gosh well now we gotta come out in the open like this or they will get more stories so I want to urge all you to make sure and lock on to the lives because all will begin much much more content about this i am already out of the closet with this and i intend to tell everybody my side finally finally it's time to tell my side it's, and i have plenty to tell all you i have plenty plenty to tell all you yes for sure yeah i used to think but i have a new concept i have a new concept i don't have it fully developed yet one of my favorite quotes of all time william shakespeare he who steals my purse steals trash but he who steals my name steal at everything people i have a different concept now i used to like that i used to like that but now i disagree with it your good name will always stand for you if you have a good name you will never lose it trust me you will never lose it and let me tell you something before I went through this madness, I had a very good name. A very good name. I had some hiccups. I had a bit of smearing of my name trying to be done for, to me. But the realness of my name and who I represent, this is why I am standing today. My good name my good qualities that god has put into me and has flourished i love you too holly all right my good name is what is setting me free it is setting me free and let me tell you something this facade of ellis food and more i am so happy that i I'm not affiliated with it anymore. Because Ellis was not a supportive wife. She was not. She was not. And what was presented on camera was a facade. It was a facade. And I personally told her, I said, listen, I myself looking at these videos reading these people comments <clears throat> people commenting and saying i wish i had a family like yours mm -hmm. yes i just have to go out one more moment deal right i said i said melissa i want the same thing that people see here on the television and we do not have it after the production of Ellis Food and More, that was it. I was left alone, not talking to me. I would be drinking my cup of coffee outside by myself. I was longing for her company. She did not show any interest in me whatsoever. And she made it very clear to me that Lasana, I, the marriage, basically we are here only for the children and i told her somebody actually told me maybe ellis food and more could have worked if it is she started it off as y'all are in a co-existing relationship listen 
we are not romantically involved we are we had a situation but we're trying to exist together and this is who we are but why 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 did you make it look like if we were really you know close And after the production, you go in, in your bedroom, me go outside with the kids, or I go in the bedroom and I'm just lying there, wishing, hoping. Now everything is going to come together, right? All you're going to have heard me say in the lives and many times, right? I stop praying and asking God for something no, I could speak freely. I kept asking God, please, Lord, could you, could you work things out between me and my wife? I want my wife. I want my wife. And guys, it was not happening. It was not happening. It was not. I prayed for that for over a year. And then I change my prayer. I change my prayer. And you know what I ask God? I say, God, I really don't know what you have in store for me. But I am just asking you, please, just lead and I will follow. That was my prayer. And so far from what I have seen, the Lord led me straight out of that situation. And he ended up putting me into a house of love. And then from a house of love into another house of love. And in this chat room, love. Love. His love. His love. That have me looking kind of good. <laughs> right? So guys, let me just catch myself a little bit. I want to read back some of these comments because I really want to see what you all would have been sending in while I was delivering. So please don't go anywhere. All right, let's read in the comments of it, okay? Wonder how much charge a phone have? Eleven percent. All right, let me go and get the battery charge. All right, Jason Reaper is so.
Well, maybe Avinash, maybe you could reach out to her and find out. Maybe leave a comment on one of her videos. Her number is up, just like mine's. Reach out to her. Hear her side and come back and tell us. Just don't make yourself into a flying monkey. That's all I'm asking. Indeed, Mira. Indeed. Don't worry. I am good. I am very observant, Penny. And it's good to see people, silent viewers, coming out and presenting themselves. Yes, the flying monkeys are jumping in. Very good, Azisha. You're learning well. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> guys come on now let me try and make sense out of nonsense thank you Kimberly I know Mr. Morris you share that with us now I am going to present some hard facts to you all now so remain locked in Remain locked in. <laughs> Java, you're wicked, eh, boy? All right. Sorry, Abhinash. I apologize. Yes, and Crystal, what I was trying to do yesterday is to keep the memory of these girls alive. People are dying to see these girls. People are dying to see my beautiful daughters, including myself. It looks so Cassian. Thank you, Hazelnut. That's okay, Holly. It was just meant to make me into a better person and be able to share with you all. And hopefully, it could be of some value to some poor soul Yes, indeed, Cassian.
guys you know when you're going through situations but I remember I remember something I'll share with all you not necessarily the experience right but the feeling and I'll tell you why it's always good you see you see filling yourself up with goodness is a really important thing filling yourself up with I talk about even when you're going through depression fill yourself with positivity I experienced something a particular night and the, I believe if it wasn't the very sad day it may have been the day before here is what I came across right here is what I came across Azisha you see the law is a very tricky thing to play with it's a tricky thing because even though there may be certain things in place I still have to be careful around this individual if I go to visit my kids this person could try to set me up so I had to be real real tight I talked to my children through a chain link fence there were people there to see it I was there Panta was there Anup Kavita Trini out and about was there his wife his children Randall the Chowman Cindy Love DJ Sheldon they were there I was on the next side of the fence. If I was alone, I would never go up by that house. What to get set up? I can't be stupid too. I can't be stupid. I had to be careful. Yeah, I had to be super duper careful. Lyndon was there too. Kimberly, Anna, Healy. Last time I saw them girls, Suri was begging me, Daddy, can you take me up by Healy and Anna, please? I can't do it. The mom is not going to allow it. You know what I said instead? Suri, shh. Don't worry, all right? And next time, children longing to go and play with their cousins. And because of whatever it is, what else you want from me? I beating you up. I doing the unthinkable thing with our children. Right? I doing the unthinkable things with our children. You take my house, you take my car, you take my swimming pool, you take my father's land which he gave to us. Right? And now you want to take away my privilege as a father too. I so bad boy. I mean, I ain't perfect. But I deserve that. Listen, let me tell all this something. Right? Let me tell all this something. <clears throat> Think about this. <clears throat> because of the nature of my channel, and I talk about positivity and thing, numerous people, and I even from the channel, even in life, right? Even in life, I meet people 
that have husbands who wife um who just beat their wives and them kind of thing and them mothers they still long that the husband could come and spend time in the church or take them out i doing all that i could possibly do to make um amends for my mistakes and you deny me you deny them children the privilege of seeing their father that can't be right boy how you could do that how you could how you could do that to your children it come as though i dead to my children while i live in yeah no panther we lime we talking you can't do that you have me as though i am dead to our children i love my children guys so let me pick a little sense out of nonsense now right i come and i open my channel right i open my channel and all hell break loose as i tell all you i don't want my children in your videos and let me tell you something it have somebody in here it have somebody here in this chat room that witness i mean not witness that overheard this conversation because melissa put the phone down in here when she was telling me and she didn't realize she did not cut the call and i don't know if that person had the belly to say what i see in this room but no no biggie no biggie melissa come and tell me are you filming my children because i do not want my children in your videos that is what she told me and i told her i said melissa these are our children so it's okay for them to be on ellis food and more but they can't be on my channel And she said, I am telling you, I do not want my children in your videos. I couldn't even take videos and put them on Facebook. If all you go back in my Facebook, all you will see after a while is old videos I just keep reposting. And there is somebody inside of here that overheard that conversation. I know who it is. I know who it is because I heard the person's voice saying that, hey, I'm still on the phone, eh? How you do me that? How you do me that? Anyway, <clears throat> at the I beat in I be in the swimming pool with Sidi and Suri. And I don't know who the person talking to. Right? And is on the phone. Right? And walking up to the swimming pool. I ain't lying now. I'm showing all the antics. Eh? Well, now the person can't see her. But I sit down in the pool, I with the two girls, and hear what she telling this person. Well, and watching me. Well, you know, I have to go and check him out. Um, no, I have to go and check the girls, because I'll tell you what's going on, right? Yes, so let me just go and make sure that everything is good. And smiling, and smiling. And that is the first time that I was able to identify that this person who is so precious to me is a liar. You see, 
when people when people telling you things about other people all they can do is really take their word but you have to put in the back of your mind okay but it have an excited story but when you hear somebody lies about you because you know the truth right you know the truth and here it is you came this person say something that you know that is not true then you can identify that you are a liar and i have identified that to myself i'm not here to convince all you but to me i knew that you are a liar i knew that you are a liar and guys i felt sick i felt sick Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our own minds. Ooh. Big up to Bob Marley, boy. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Guys, guys, why? Yes, Cassian. She threw my phone into the pool. Yes, that is true. That is true. Somebody came back in and said, it's not really your phone that was thrown into the pool because that phone was given to her. So in other words, somebody gave her the phone and she out of the goodness of her heart gave me the phone. So that still make it okay to throw the phone into the pool? But no, this phone was empowering me. This channel is empowering me. I agree with you, Mira. I agree. Enough is enough. People ask me, would I ever, would I ever go back with her? Something had to happen to her health-wise. Something has to happen to her health-wise. If my wife get a stroke, I will go back home. I will go back home and I will help my wife. Because nobody ain't going and take care of her. And we wouldn't have money to afford to send up a babysitter. And to be honest with you, once I not divorce, till death do us part, for better or for worse, I wouldn't know that my wife have a stroke and maybe bedridden. And leave her up there. What with the children? Who will to take care of the children? Think about it. Who's going to take care of the children? I will do my duty. I will do my duty. And that is why I might be catching my little kicks on thing. Right? I might be catching my little kicks. Sometimes, you know, a lady might come in here while honey taking out a little joke or whoever, right? But guys, my friends could attest to something. Yes, that's how you're going, you're good? Yes. My, my arm, um, gosh, remind me, I lose my train out there. I, 
I lost my train. I thought that nothing. Oh, oh, I now remember. I remember. I remember. Let me look at some facts here. So, I overhearing my wife suggesting to somebody that I have to go and check on the girls because I explained to you the situation. And plain talk bad manners suggesting that I am molesting or I am attempting to molest our children. Well, I have a question to ask all you. I know they could leave all the comments. Leave your comments. How many mothers that are listening to this chat right now, how many of you all will leave your daughter's home with your husband or a stepfather or a relative if it is you know or you suspect that the children may be exposed to child molestation tell me engage i would like to see your answers Thank you, Mira. It's okay, Vanita. No one. Cassie says no mother will allow it knowing that is happening. Hannaford says definitely not. Patricia. No mother will allow that. Mira, I am not a mom, but not for me. Azisha, no mother will. Trini style with vids, no one. I see the same as Cassian says Holly. No one at all. I am a mother, and even if my hubby treated me like rubbish, I will still trust him with my daughter. Judy T says, no way. Dolly, if the person knows all this so-called molestation and did not report it to the police or the children's authority, well, she can be charged for not doing so. Jen says, no mom will allow it. Marina, if I feel that's what's happening, you go on one time, I not even monitoring anything. She still have time to talk on phone that. Kimberly, I I wouldn't just allow that. I was leaving with the kids. Benita, what the hell? This breaks me. Florence, not me. Patricia, Kim, you are right. Rebina, if I suspect no way, I would not leave the girls alone. Tara, no mother would. If so, be the case. Can't he sue her for defamation of character? I am not sure, Mira. No mother will allow it, says Rishma. Benita, defamation of character to the highest level. Crystal, I am not a mom, but I would not. Your ex is attempting to break you. Don't let it happen. Thank you, Holly. Sita, I'm a mom. And no way in this world would I do so. Elsie says, I am not a mother, but no way. Maud, no one, even their mother, can come between the love. 
your girls have for you. Vanita, yet you are pay at Suri school to pay school fees by box. Mohani, very true, Kimberly. Panta, fire, fire. Hi to you, Santuno. If she has it in writing, it's LaBelle. I feel you're hurting. Panta, fire. Sana, you will give your last drop of blood for your children. Most certainly, my life. My life. All right. So, let's, let's look at one of Ellis. This is not my production. This is a production of Ellis Food and More. All right, guys. Okay, let's examine a video done by Ellis Food and More. Not me, her production. There's a particular video, Fish and Chips. And we were on the deck. Um, Suri and I were in the swimming pool. We were bathing. Listen carefully, guys. You could go back and check the video some other time. We were bathing in the swimming pool. Suri and I all alone this is probably about seven to eight months after my coming out of st Anne's. ellis in that video indicated that she was going down the road to purchase a carrot a fish and then after that she was going to purchase french fries in the grocery store we see in this video that she did enter the car and she did go down the road what do you think about that what do you think about that I am being accused of child molestation. And here it is. The mother in her video production shows Suri and I in the swimming pool and she jumps into the car to go and purchase the goods for the purpose of the video. Would you leave your daughter not only whom, but would you leave your daughter in a swimming pool with a father that you are accusing of child molestation? Let me hear you. Let me hear you. No. It started when I opened my my channel. Before that, she was bad talking me. I never heard her about the child molestation. It's only when I opened the channel that I really started to get that pepper in my tail. I will see. I will say that certainly if it is she really in her heart believe that I was molesting the children, then Melissa, you was real irresponsible to take that chance with me. You were very, very irresponsible. How could you take a chance? Because listen, I am the one I am the one that went into the mental institution. If it is you were believing all along that I may molest our daughter, then I am asking you, how dare you leave our innocent daughter? You know that I am a mental case. How could you have moved so irresponsible 
to leave me with to leave our daughter with mental me and this is just in this video there are other videos that shows it too and there are many times melissa went down the road me and them three girls are alone in our swimming pool and melissa going down the road how dare you take a chance like that with our children You're irresponsible. She already irresponsible. Knowing that I is a madman. As a madman. And you know that I'm molesting our children. Why you take that chance, Gil? Why you take that chance? Why? Why? If I interfere with the children, why you didn't take the children to the doctors? get a medical and get me arrested why when i'm beating you up every week you're telling people i'm beating you up every week yet you're making ellis food and more every week we're doing lives you you, you could pour on makeup so good you could pour on makeup so good that melissa if i had only leave one black or blue mark on you you was going to make sure that the police arrest me. Because people think about it now. You basically, you steal my house. You steal my car. You steal my children from me. So definitely, if I had leave any proof of any sort of injury on you, you would have had me arrested already. you are exposed you are exposed and i see shame on you shame on you shame on you and you're really you ain't only fool all these people in here you fool me <laughs> you fool me you fool me boy as i tell all day yesterday as I tell all yesterday, come out of our divorce, pay off my ex-wife, the one who worked hard with me to build a house. And I take a chance and I get married to you. And you end up with all my life earnings and you're walking around with your head high and proud like if that is your father give you that place. And I had to run out of it. Ellis, you're shameful. And I don't care what action you take. I don't care what action you take against me. Because I knew I will get this hundred, at least maybe a hundred and twenty truthful people in here. Or let me say a hundred. Or let me be a little more real. 168 at least 84 people 50 percent people in here for me and that is plenty 50 at the best is better than your eight thousand at the worst i tell you this army of love will defeat your hateful army people telling me all kind of thing you're lazy man you stinker all you know me? How dare you call me stinker? You ever come here and tell us what you did for your wife? Or what you did for your husband? Don't worry, Marina. Job lost everything. And he gets it back. Hundredfold. Look at me. You think, honestly speaking, you think that this person that is creating these webs of lies, how could she be happy with herself? Look at me. Yeah, I don't have no house. I have no car. I have no wife. I seem to have no daughters. 
But, Katian, I have been trying the system. I have been trying the system. Every time you see me with that orange shirt, and I see guys, pray for me. Pray for me. That is what I just be going to fight for. For my children. This army of life have mm -hmm. defeated the army of darkness. You have been defeated. And don't feel that the material things you take from me has done anything to me. My name speaks for itself and your name has been revealed. Tell yourself what you're telling yourself and you could take that to the bank. That's from Stephen Seagal. <laughs> yes. I told you. I warned you. I said this thing this thing is going to backfire on you. And you think that that is why you're doing it tonight? No. Your actions, your actions, and what you profess yourself to be, you have not lived up to what you presented on your YouTube platform. And everything that I presented myself as on my YouTube platform, I have been living by it. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. But sorry to say it, you're already wrecked. And you better pray and ask God for forgiveness for the things that you're doing. Because it's not right. You're destroying our children. My children love me. You denying my children the rights to be with me. Why you don't leave? Why you don't leave? And give me back what is mine. And leave my children with me. Leave my children with me. I will never alienate my children from you. And I will not alienate my children from their cousins. You are spiteful, yes. Spiteful. And I hope you watch this video. And you could do whatever you want with it. You could go to the greatest lawyer. And I will stand alone in a courtroom. I will stand alone. I don't want no lawyer. I will speak for myself. I am intellect. I am bright. I am intelligent. And I will beat you to your nasty games. Could you walk around in public? How will these people to do this? How will these people to live with all themselves? You know why? And we will never understand it, people, because we are not wired like that. These people justify themselves. They find ways to comfort themselves that what they're doing is right. You understand what I'm saying?
don't let anybody steal your joy you are worth everything begin respecting yourselves and that is when you will destroy these evil-minded people they keep you in a state of devastation where you are able to value yourself they erode at you they beat you down they crush you and that's how they feel elevated the more they push you down is the more elevated they feel but they don't do anything to uplift themselves so instead they try to push you down to get that feeling of elevation So we have 164 people locked on and I'm glad so that the world can get back to her also. But hey, check that video out, Gil. Check that video out. Maybe you might have something that you will be able to carry the court for. But the thing about it is what else? Do I have to lose? Hmm? I have nothing to lose. Nothing. You understand? I have nothing to lose. <laughs> oh boy. They feel they're bright, you know. They feel they're bright, but long rope for Maga Goat. And this is what it means, people. Tonight was the night to tie up goats. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, you're so silly, yeah, people. Think about it. How are you going to walk around in public now? You smear my name all over the place. Yeah? What's up? You smear my name. You smear my name. I ain't not smearing your name tonight. You know what I'm doing? I'm telling people my side of the story. I have not said anything about you. I just say what was done to me. Now, how does it feel? I know how it feels. But I feel it's going to be a little worse for you. Because the things you said about me was lies. But the things I say about you is the truth. And you know what the old saying says? The truth. The truth something. <laughs> yes, Holly, hold this chin up high. Somebody tell me that. Keep your chin up. <clears throat> Guys, it's plain and simple. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. It does. How many times I walk in the public? Ellis food and more fans touching their husband. But so they are no street sense before they touch the husband leg or something, they touch it on the shoulder. Watch, watch, watch. Watching me hard, hard, hard. I don't look away, but I look in here. I seen quite so, you know. 
they feel their street sense. What street sense? I'm gonna have more street sense than me. But I was on the streets. I know about the streets. I deal I deal with with, with, with serious men. Yes, Tan if I had luck. Yes, this person needs help. But nobody, nobody could put sense into this person's head. Not their family, not my family, not friends, nobody. Nobody. I is always the one they want to talk to. But all they have to think about the kids, you know. All they have to think about the kids. What the hell I could do? What the hell I could do? I can't do nothing. I must have, I couldn't even help myself, I had to run out of my house. But now it's a different person you're facing. <clears throat> Just remember that. It's a different person you're facing now. Somebody who you, you ain't have no control over me again. You don't. And that hurts. That hurts. I know that hurting you. That you can't manipulate me anymore. You gotta find somebody new to manipulate. A friend or something. Or a family member. Because that's what narcissists do. They, they, they're looking for empaths. People who empathize. They destroy them. And then they spit them out. All they're looking at a product of that. But I will come out super. I have come out. I am. <laughs> boy. <laughs> that person don't know how. That person don't know how. Empower they make me. Telling you. Plain talk. Hey, Abril and Pashti. Hola, hola. Welcome to the chat. Yes, that's what I want to do, Florence. She really wanted me to actually, right? She actually wanted, I believe, she wanted to send me back in the madhouse because the day she threw my pool, threw my phone in the swimming pool, call the police and tell the police, right, that they need to come up here quick because her husband is a patient at St. Anne's. Right? And he now hit she. Right? And all I need to come up here quick and make sure I'm bringing an ambulance also because he needs to be taken to St. Anne's and be careful with him because he is a pathological liar. I don't forget people's words. I don't. Even if I'm having some drinks, I don't forget what people say. I am a pathological liar. That is what she told the police. And guys, this was the Monday after Father's Day. It was a public holiday. It was a public holiday. Um, what was the public holiday? Was it Labor Day? Yes, Cassian, she was talking about herself. It was liberty. All right.
and we waited. Linda and I, we waited. Right? We waited. And the police is not coming. And I, Linda said, hey, Sana, we should go down to the police station. I said, right, let's go. And we went. And when I went to the station, there was a policeman that arrested me about two and a half years ago. Right? Guys, when I went out to Tudapuna and I was getting on real erratic the same night that I mashed up the house. Right? And when he saw me, he was like, wait, La Sana Batis? La Sana Batis? Is that you? So I started to laugh as he is me. He said, boy, how you looking so good? <laughs> I said, boy, positivity, boy. <laughs> he said, boy, whatever you're doing, do stop. He said, whatever you're doing, do stop, boy, because it's working for you. He said, anyway, he said, I know why you come down here. He said, boy, he said, let me tell you something. It's numerous occasions that woman try to get me to come and arrest you. I say, what? He said, she has been constantly trying to call this police station for us to come and arrest you. And we keep saying, we keep saying, ma'am, the man has done nothing wrong. <laughs> the man has done nothing wrong. What we coming up there on what grounds? What grounds we coming up there? And next thing I want to ask all you, tickle your imagination a little bit. All right, so all you ready for the question? Somebody say yes. <coughs> Yes, Florence. Who ready for the next question? All right. If a man, if a man is beating his wife, on a weekly basis if a man is beating his wife on a weekly basis who do you think is going to flee from the house the man who is beating the woman or the woman who is getting the licks because i want to find out something how it lock it lock how on earth is a woman that is being beaten on a regular basis how is she going to find the strength to run the abuse out Hmm. You see how people don't think? All the people that believe in Ellis's lies. You ever ask yourself the question, hey, but here in a girl, how you were able to switch up on he? How you was able to get he out of the house, girl? Oh gosh. Let me tell you something. Unfortunately, the night, remember, y'all have been following the whole chat. And I admit that on the night, on the night that I destroyed my home, I admitted that I physically did hit Melissa some slaps. And let me tell you what happened. 
Melissa fled. She made sure she grabbed her children and she ran for her life. That is what a woman who get in licks does do. She does run out of the house. So how the hell Melissa was able to run me out of the house if I was beating her? How she was able to do that? Pick up a cutlass. How you get her strength to decide, hey, I pick it up my cutlass and run in your backside out. When last week I hit you some good slap. You are afraid of me. You wouldn't dare dream of going to pull a cutlass at me because I already have you intimidated. You see how it is, people? But people just want to believe these things. Yeah, nah. You know. You know what? You know what? You know what? Somebody message me on WhatsApp and tell me. I crap. Yes, but the women are fearful and intimidated. Yeah, nah. One of she flying monkeys. I don't know. WhatsApp me and tell me you should have dead. You should have dead when you crashed that motorbike. And I seen, look, look at what somebody telling me now, boy, that I should have wishing death upon me. All you know, when I crash on that motorbike, Melissa up to this day never asked me Sana, you okay, boy? Sana, I hear her motor. Melissa never even called me. That that talk was all over that Sana crashed the motorbike. Mr. Sana crashed the bike. That girl never once called me and asked me, Sana, you all right, boy? I hear her crash. When I was fearful, and I went and I do all these blood results and thing. Melissa know that. Melissa never even asked me, hey, Sana, what about your results, boy? Never. She could never fool me that she had care about me. From the time I went in the same time, or even before that, she had no concern about me. None whatsoever. If I hear something happen to Melissa, somebody call and say, hey, Melissa in the hospital. Guys, I will be down there so fast, even up to now, even though she do all of these things to me. I'm telling you, my good friends will know this. Yeah, she really don't care. But watch me. Look back at the videos now. And that is why I love. That is why I love this YouTube thing. Because this is documented. This is documented. When, when she going down the road. When she going down the road with the Tida. And she shut down. Who she call? Who she called to fix the car? Eh? Who she called? She called the dotish man. The Sana Banana. Eh, Sana. The, um, the, the teeth shot down, eh? It by Wasa. Oh, 
Chop it me. Chop it me. All right, I come in, I come in, I come in. Yeah, use me. Right through. Use me for Ellis food and more too. Yeah. You see, I will show you something. A content creator must never feel that people only watch the channel because of he or she. Hey, listen. Let me use Ellis Food and More. It have people would have been watching Ellis Food and More to see Ellis. It have people would have been watching Ellis Food and More to see Sydney. It have some would have been watching to see Sadie. It has some Princess Margaret. And it have some would have been watching it to see me. You must never tell yourself that people only watching your YouTube channel because of you. Look at how much people on my YouTube channel now. Panta, Natasha, Kavita, Anu, Dirte, Christy, Mimi Tech. This one, that one. We feel it's only me. It's only me going to be the favorite because it's my show. When they see Sarah and Deal Tech, it has some people, they ain't watching me, oh gosh, why the man don't show Deal Tech more? You understand what I'm saying? You can't be the star all the time. But it has some people, they just like the whole stage. They want the whole, whole stage. And I feel this just this is just speculations now. I feel when we started to go live, there is with some problems start up big time. Everybody, Mr. Sana, Mr. Sana, sing something there for we now boy. Sing something there for we now boy. Hey, 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 all here. Everybody must be tired, boy. Let me lock off. Let me lock off. Let me lock off. I know Panther had to go and sleep. All the moderators had to go and sleep. All right? So let me lock off. And we could talk at this, about this whenever the time is right. All right? Yes, Crystal. Yeah, but I had to think about the moderators. I had to think about the moderators, remember? If I don't wake up in the morning to do the 6 o'clock live, it's okay for me. I could talk, you know. My name is Talky Talk, you know. <laughs> 6 a.m. Yeah. But real talk. Real, real talk. Real, real talk. People, people started to enjoy a hey, Mr. Sara sing this or do a dance or some kind of some kind of thing, right? I feel, I feel that it brought some contention. I feel, and that's a sad thing. That's a sad thing. It must, especially in our marriage. You know it. Yes. Yep. That's why I just want to urge all you. I just want to urge all you. Don't let nobody steal your job. Don't do that. Value yourselves, people. Value yourselves. I 
and remember right remember you do know what God have in store for you you don't but you have to trust that it's something good and let me tell you something you see this same it's maybe centuries old God works in mysterious ways don't think that okay he's working on me he's working on you he's working on my dad he's working on my mom he's working on panta he's working on javed right he is working on ellis also he is working on ellis also bear something in mind it took me a mental breakdown a point of your lowest sometimes we have to be reduced <coughs> to our lowest <coughs> oh. We have to be. No, this does this does not have to be everyone's experience. This is why I be trying to tell all you: don't lose your mind, don't let nobody steal your joy. You don't have to be reduced to your lowest point to start to make achievements. <clears throat> unfortunately it has to happen to some people me drugs marijuana alcohol thoughts devastating thoughts arrested by police but you name it I do it in record time in record time it will have it will have a topic I don't have an experience that somebody could come in here with that I can't talk about. And I am boasting. I'm not, I'm not being, well, they don't ask me to talk about chemistry, you know. <laughs> I'm talking about human, human related psychology and these kind of things. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. Thanks to the super chat. I appreciate it. Anna's, Anna's question. <laughs> Was it her abusive behavior that triggered you into the drug use? All right, and I'm going to answer that question. And guys, first, Danny Mal, Yunandes, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. What is great and his mercies endure forever. Thank you, Vidya, for sharing that with us. All right, no, Anna no it was not and we speaking about the marijuana here it was not ellis that triggered that i was working at national petroleum and i opened my own wood workshop we we have very very strict rules 
in the aviation industry and taking drug tests was an annual thing it could also be done spur of the moment right so since i came out of that system i said boy one of the first things i want to do is i want to try a nice smoker marijuana and that is what i did right and then after that but over a period of time i will give all you the story of how this whole deterioration took place right so i answered the question there Yes, and it was a very good question, Allah. It's super duper hot. Yes, Rabina. Thank you. Oh boy. Let me talk about that. Fan. All right, and thank you once again to the Danny Mal. Thank you very much. I do appreciate the super chat. Thank you. Is this not a prem live stream? I, I'm not too sure what you're asking there. Prem, any anybody um understands the question? <laughs> hey, Daniel, um, thanks, Broski. We coming in for for the championship. I'm smoking a f a fat blunt to celebrate. Will enjoy yourself. Just be safe. Okay, talking about soccer. Premium. Premier or premium? Okay. When the things start to go wrong, all right. All right. Now, these are questions that I will love to answer and I will be answering over a period of time. Now, in all fairness, right, I have my I have to try my best to present to y'all the wrong things that I would have done and also the things that I believe the person may have done that may have caused things to deteriorate. All right? And that is something that I would like to be careful with because remember, I must not take my platform to only present myself as a hey, I am being I have to look good here no 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 definitely not I have done wrong things I have done wrong things and I am not I am not going to deny that and whenever the moment has come for me to be honest in answering these questions I have to be very very discreet all right and to answer that question it's going to take a little time to be able to answer it fairly we would not have that kind of time here tonight but I assure you as we go along because I am seeing that this channel especially the lives 
it's going to be taking a new direction. Yes? <laughs> yes, we all, we all have faults. We all have faults. And what I can tell you is this, from the moment you are speaking to a person and all they are doing is presenting the other person's faults, then that should raise our antennas. That should raise our antennas that, A, it cannot be that a human being could always be right. That is impossible. <laughs> right? So if I want my channel to remain authentic, real, then when I decide to speak on those matters, I have to be as honest as I could. Because I do not want to find myself in the position that the other person found themselves in. Otherwise, I will be guilty of also conducting a smear campaign. You're, you're following me? Yes, but don't worry, Hanifa. Don't worry. God is in control of everything. He is. God is working right now. Yes, but you understood. God is working right now, people. As we speak. Not only for me, not only for Ellis, for all of us. Well, Mr. Blake, for you are hearing here and there that she had reason to act the way she did because of the previous conduct. All right? So if somebody does not want to be with me because of the previous conduct, right? All well and good. But does that give you the right? Okay. You don't want to be with me because of my previous conduct. That's not a problem. But does that give you the right to push me out of my home and also insinuate that I am molesting my children and that also I am being physically abusive to her? Where is the evidence for that? Why should somebody smear a person for their previous conduct? And even if and even if, and even if she does not want to be with me for my previous conduct, does that give her the right to keep me away from my children, Mr. Blake? No, Mr. Blake. We discuss all matters in here. And the reason why I'm seeing that, Mr. Blake, now you could call me and we could talk about other things. I have brought closure to this matter. I do not want to be with Melissa. All I want is the rights to see my children. That is all. In a peaceful manner. That is all. And I am declaring it here openly. 
I am being faced with great difficulties. As I said tonight, I have witnesses. I spoke to my children through a wire fence. And I was only granted that privilege because I said, hey, X, Y, and Z, there are some people here, they would like to see you, which is the truth. And I took the opportunity, Suri, come darling. My daughter run to me. No, I don't have a lawyer and I don't need any. And the reason why I'm saying that, Mr. Blake, is this. Guys, I have no intentions whatsoever. I have no intentions of ever displacing my children from that home. I will find somewhere else to live. I don't want my children to be looking for place and place and place to rent. They rent in here and then they have to move. And they go somewhere else and they rent. I don't want that for my kids. All my children, these girls, they grew up in Cora and that's where they're going to grow as far as I could help it. So Melissa never has to be fearful that I am going to try to get her out of the house. Otherwise, I would have been working on that already, guys. Yes. Very, very good question, Mark Lewis. What has Kim and Anna and Healy, why are they being kept away from them? Because of previous things also. Why my parents get in difficulties to see their grandchildren? Is it because that my father also abused Melissa? Or previous things? Yes, there was a dispute in the family. But we have all apologized to each other and we are moving on. And this is the same person that when her mother passed away, went up on her platform and was preaching about living in love and learning to forgive and to forget. Mr. Blake, Mr. Blake, So, Mr. Blake, <clears throat> there are people I have not been evicted from the home, and this has been told to the both parties, her and myself. There's an order for us to hold the peace. We, are, we must not commit against Domestic Violence Act. <clears throat> Nevertheless, the last time I saw the girls after that, I have been constantly calling, totally ignoring my phone calls. 
messages. So, what, what do they do? They cut the communication link. The most I can do now is when I'm going up my linden, I can stop beep, beep, beep. Girls, girls. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> yes, Benita. Let me tell you something funny. When I say funny, not funny, like... <laughs> when I realized that this individual was suggesting to people that I was being indecent to my guilds, I contacted children's authority. And I'm not lying. Susie was right here when Children's Authority called me back. I was doing a live. And I said, guys, hold on. I have to take this call. I have to take this call. Hold on, hold on. Not, not the big girls, Anna. I, I call children's authority. They return the call to me months after. Months. I am vexed about it. Look, Susie's in there. I could attest to that. And I tell them, I said, listen, I say I have another situation. I see my children, mother, suggesting that I molesting these children. You want to know what they tell me? Because I don't know who sent children's authority by us when I now come out of St. Dan's. I don't know, but all I know is children's authority end up by we. I have no idea. I ask mommy, I say mommy and daddy, all they ever call children's authority for us? No. I ask Lyndon. I say Lyndon, did you all ever call children's authority for me? No. I asked one or two other people. I said, but, I said, but, what is this boy? How these people end up by me? Anyway, they wanted to interview. They interviewed the three children. And I asked them, I said, please, can I talk to my children in front of all of you? before they talk to them. <laughs> all they want to all they want to hear why I tell my children. If you want to hear type yes. And this is when I know come out and see dancer, mind you. I say, girls, I say, listen to daddy. And I want all of you to listen to me carefully. I say, whatever these people ask you, tell them nothing but the truth. I say, and I just always tell it because they know this. 
Because I always tell them this. I say, tell the truth once. And you will be able to tell it a hundred times. Mm -hmm. And they interview all them guilds. One by one, separate. No father, no mother, you know. And then they interview. No, they did, they did me first, then Melissa, then the three girls. So when this woman called back now, and I started to tell her, I said, well, listen, I want you to investigate. Because I am telling you, this is what the mother said. So all you're not going and make it all your business to go and investigate this. And I am repeating what the woman told me. The lady said, Mr. Batiste, Mr. Batiste, I am the same person. She's trying, she's telling me, because remember, I'm not seeing her. She said, I am the same person that was heading the investigation up at your home. And that was something that was ruled out. We never had any indication or anything from those guilds that suggests that molestation was a concern. I say, well, all right. What else I could do? Okay, Dolly. What else I could do, boy? But here was she telling me. Every time before I end up leaving to go by Linden House, or even when I was up there and I was going back down my house, the Sana, I... I have been in contact with the children's authority and you have no rights being in this house. And you know why I don't go to visit? Because while I was by Linden House, I went down one day. I went down the Monday. Me and she ended up falling out. I going back up. Next day, I go back to say hi. By the Wednesday, Melissa had her phone out and was telling me, Lasana, you are not to be here. And on Monday, you will, um, on Monday, something to do with, I, I can't remember the exact words, right? Let me, let me juggle my memory. But basically, like, um, she was suggesting that something physical and your daughter, Sydney, witnessed. And she was very, very upset. I said, Melissa, call Sydney here for me right now. Call Sydney here for me right, right now. And she dare not call Sydney. She dare not call Sydney. Yeah? Or they want to hear something else. Eh? Or they want to hear something else. I went down there to see my children. And I sit down. This one will not call you out enough. This one will not call you out. I sit down there. Talking with Suri. Only listen to me carefully, yeah? Listen to me carefully. Why go in and tell all you here? Sadie comes out of the house and she has like this knife that she made out of cardboard paper. And Suri, Sadie walks straight up to me and 
plunge plunge that knife into my chest and I watch I said CD I said CD what you just do there and Melissa is standing up right by the door just watching on and I see CD you see what you just do there to me did you did, did you try to or feel like you wanted to kill me and that mother stand up there and ain't even saying a word and I told her I said CD don't you ever do that again you hear what I'm telling you don't you ever do that to me or to anybody again Or they feel I live. Or they feel I live. I heal you know, Suri. Suri, darling. Thing. Daddy, you cannot go anywhere with us. You have no behavior. But I wanted to laugh with that one. It's about time people know the truth, Ellis. It's about time. And I'm glad I have this platform until maybe the authorities might come and shut me down. But the story outside there. And even if the channel end up closing down, it has some strong people that will carry on this message. yeah and to all the silent viewers who might be working for the army of hate well i saw they done inform she that hey a real back and all in the place and maybe she listening but let's say i don't care about you i care about my children i don't care what you want to do with your life you could move on i don't care who you get involved with just don't drag my children into it. Do do that. Do do that. <sighs> First of all, they don't know the truth, you know. Yeah. This is one of the reasons why I like to go live. I could never hold. I, I could never hold this character for so long. What you see here is where you, what you see is where you get. What you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. channel or not we here for you yes florence i will just appear on somebody else channel i'll show somebody you'll give me a little plea <laughs> yeah God is working in mysterious ways. He does. Yes, FPL. If anything ever happens, I'm coming on street on your channel. We just have a spreading word. Sana, FPL. My 
but I pay money. You didn't even want, you didn't even want me to build that swimming pool. Yeah. You didn't want me to build that. And I built that because I knew it was COVID time. And I say, hey, boy, I don't like my children to be entertained during the COVID. And now, in all your videos, yeah, all your videos, welcome to my house, my my car, my pool. Come and see my pool. <laughs> you can't see my pool. You really are no shame, yo. You really are no shame. The only thing that he wasn't seeing is mine is your husband. I know everybody was your husband. Everybody was your husband. All I have to say is somebody in the chat here, or they're looking for a, a man, he in the best. And you go see how much people go pick up the trash you throw away. Telling you. Tell yourself what you're telling yourself. Hey. Pool faceness. Yes, the children get the benefits of it all. Yeah. Notice something, eh? Notice something. I have not. I have not touched on why now Mr. Blake talk about um, previous I, I don't want to misquote him right they, but me in touch on why I feel she trying to destroy me so you know. I smart no I real real smart yes I have suspicions about certain things, but me, me in the schools, why I feel she doing me that? <laughs> but let's say, you're in for running your money with me, you know. You're in for a run with me now, you know, girl. You really feel you could tango with me. Yeah? You feel you could tango with me. Gil, check yourself. I never up to now tell people what I feel. Why are you doing that to me? And I ain't going to give you that satisfaction. I will have. Yes. Correct. Uh, watch me. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Miss Melissa Singh, as you like to be called, Melissa Singh. It had plenty things that I know about you, that you ain't know, that I know. And I'm not going to disclose none of that in here. I will give you that respect. I ain't going to light you up. Why lighting you up for is what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? You see, this way you're doing, keeping me or making it difficult between me and my girls. That is where I had a problem. Keep the house, keep the car, keep your pool. But you see that way you're doing with me and my girls? God will take care of that. God is going to take care of that. And you see me, you could never, you could never destroy me again. Watch this man. Watch this man here. What do you think? You think you could come and guff up on my face again? You think you could do that? You think you could come and shout in my face and intimidate me? You feel you have that power over me again? <laughs> you don't tell yourself what you really telling yourself. Uh, mad people think. Well, I'm 
police car will come and check me here tomorrow, Mr. Batiste. We understand that you're on YouTube and the thing thing. I said, officer, I'll just get out of here now, boy. What happened to you? What happened to you? But the amount of police head I walk in, switch up different thing, and I walk out of the head. Eh? What was What do you think is just so? 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 What do you think is Richie Six, Mark Lewis. Oh, God. You get you get your, your house, you get your car, you get your super pool. Yeah, you feel like the baddest thing in, in, in Trinidad. But that woman ready to put me in house. If I do so, you know, I tell you, if I do so, in this chat on that seriousness, and I see guys, hear this now. I promise, I promise all this something. If there's any woman inside that here that looking for a good, good, good companion, Right, once you respect me, right? I don't mind. This make sure you have good Wi-Fi. So I could do my little vlogs and thing. But watch me, darling. I wash in, I cook in. Just respect me. Give me a little comfort. Yeah. Boy, tomorrow. Well, I always had to be on the lookout mirror because not that she will attack me, but because she um she spread all these horrible rumors about me, somebody may take it upon themselves. Yeah. But, hey, nah, 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 he's I am. Yeah. Just so I might be like in a bar drinking. He and his wife. And they look across, hey, look the man there, look the nasty man there. Like how this go? You could lose your life just so, Mira. <laughs> yeah. Man to put in homes, how you mean, Mark? <laughs> what do you see, boy? What is one man rubbishes our next man treasures? Yes? He has everything for his kids also. And he and his father's father are renting at the moment. Yeah, but don't worry, he... But listen, Amelia, I we not see this and it's true, eh? Psalm 91 for them, brother. Yes, full of man protection. Strong Psalm, they reach six. Now, hear this, guys. Remember, if you want the Lord to help you, you have to be trying to do the correct things to it. So I can't find myself really involving myself with, like, let me see a woman or anything, because remember... I still am married, man. Right? So, I can't find myself doing things for earthly pleasures and still asking God to help me out in this situation. I don't think I could be putting God in a, in a fair situation. But yes, I, I tell you, this man could cook, wash, and sing. I mean... <laughs> Oh yes. Well boy, you see how God is direct here? Yeah? I come onto this life here. Yeah? I never know we that walk down this road. But I like that. God first. Yes, Anne Marie, thanks girl for letting me know. <coughs> Love you too boy Richie Six. FBL, Mark Lewis, Panther, everybody, everybody in here. Well, actually, um, they always, they were coming to me and saying, you know, Lasana, the children, the children, the children. And I keep saying, but there's nothing that I could do. I want to do something, but there's nothing that I could do.
right? So 140 people in the house. Yeah, boy, for real, 150 or 207. <laughs> boy. Nah, but this is my story, people. This is my story. Indeed, the silent treatment. Yeah, and that is why I stop calling now. I stop calling. Me ain't fighting on this thing no more. Me ain't fighting on this thing. You, if you want to feel that you want to use our precious children, look, people, 139 in the house, 139 likes. That, that looking real sick. Yes, Jillian. Um, Dick. Yes. Steve Rampasad. Good night, good night. Yep. <laughs> You're sure right about our crystal. Guys, read the comments, eh? Make it even better. You could talk, talk, and cook, cook. Hanifa, <laughs> yes, girl. I feeling so, so good, eh? So, so good, and I am not afraid of any repercussions of this. Thank you, Panda. <laughs> Panda, you better go and sleep, you know. <laughs> oh, gosh. Sana, after tonight, I feel worried for you. But it's good. When you say you feel worried for me, Nah, what do you mean? Like, person could take actions against me? <sighs> Pandasuri said, I love you, daddy, out loud. Yeah. A heart filled with love is like a phoenix that no cage can imprison. Well, hit that is the road you want to go down, Mark. I could tell you, a very observant, a very observant. Guys, don't think. I have learned, I have learned to deal with this. As I say, I have my moments. <clears throat> but as you all could see, I am still able to go outside there and have myself some good fun with good friends. <clears throat> But yes, it hurts, but thank the Lord. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the seat on the lives. One minute I'm crying, and then, bam, you cheer up and you go again. Big up the Suri, Sana's twin. <coughs> All right, no problem. I will be locking off um, in a little bit, Yvonne. No, Katian, I am, I have always respected Melissa's, um, what, what, how to put it, request or no, her demand that I am not the Tepa children. And I can't tell you when last I took a picture of any of my kids, right, or made any videos. Two pictures that I got 
is my cousin take them pictures for me. Right? Not even with my phone. I did not go with my phone actually. people in the house 143 like yes yeah, funny dog yo so good morning to everybody hmm so true yeah Lessons Mark, Richie Six. Everybody, moderators, guys, I feel so sorry for those who have to go to work tomorrow. <clears throat> mm hmm. Guys, how it is, Vinita? Was. <laughs> Get some rest. All right, Amelia. May he rest in peace. Sorry to hear that. Stress kills. And as all you could see, when I came out of that stressful environment, guys, I started, I mean, I still look like I have mange on top of my head. <laughs> yeah, but everybody always compliments me, you know, boy, you're looking so good, boy. Cafe. What? But I enjoy sucking that crab, boy. <laughs> that crab, that crab make me start to, to talk, yes. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, Cassie Gill. He has had it, but. <laughs> Good. All right, I just opened up a non-alcoholic again. So cheers to you, Santa. Cheers. Thank you, Darren and Tara. Love all the two. Good for you, Vinita. <laughs> Is the crab juice Richie proper thing? <laughs> As he shall match the cool up my eyes. <laughs> oh God, look more crab there. Mira sent some crab for me to suck. No problem, Florence. All right, so guys, 
ये हो गई रोनी राइट आफ्टर जो इज सोलो ये हो गई रोनी ओलियर इंग बुनुवे इफ एस्टी ही राइट सो लेट मी रिलीज एवरीबॉडी All right, I want to read BB. Listen, Sana. True thing here. My mom kept me away from my dad when he visited, so I know the effects it had on me. Your girls will grow up and reach for you, as I did, my dad. That is the best thing I hear here tonight. <laughs> Bibi, thanks for sharing, girl. <laughs> oh gosh! All right, so guys, let's lock off the life. All right, I can. I read it. I read it. He gave good, good in the car. Oh gosh! Hey. I don't know a hundred thousand, but hey, you look good at all. Hey, my God! <laughs> you know, after you end the lives, we'll still be on the chat. Till it automatically stop. <laughs> yes, Miragil. It's already constant that all the bears done. Yeah, Susie Gill. All right, so guys, let me let plenty play. Oh, let me really like we'll talk. All right, yes, yes, Azisha. Right, guys. Hey, William. I'm ah, sorry. Shanta. Is it because I'm making too much noise, Shanta? Oh gosh. I hope not that. Only like a week up to me and Shanta. <laughs> yes, for real. There's a voice that keeps on calling me down the road. That's where I'll always be. And every step I take, I make a new friend. Can't stay for long, this turn around and I'm gone again. Maybe tomorrow I'll settle down. Love all you. Maybe tomorrow I'll just keep moving on. Leave us alone.